Hello, hello, welcome. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, my name is Kate, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for all of your help and tips and ideas. Um, for the Idaho 4 case, we are all good. What Ethan needed or wanted to get out, got out, and we're good in the hood. I didn't put it together until I got the message, like, we're good. Like, we did our job. Our job is done. We can rest easy at night. Um, until he had that mic drop moment. There is another one of these, those readings. I'm going to look back through it because he did that before with the um, snake. So I'll look for it. Um, I am spacing. So what we're going to work on now is the Abby and Libby case in Delphi. It's Libby that I, I could feel, I think as soon as someone suggested, thank you for that suggestion. As soon as someone suggested it, it must have planted a seed because then it's almost like Ethan La like left, we were good. And then Libby has been, it's her energy that I can feel. I can't feel it super strong yet, which is fine. Um, but it, I looked at a picture of the two girls and that's who it is. So the only, I listened to the Down the Hill podcast. It feels like a couple years ago, probably right when it came out. Um, Cause I used to just listen to podcasts, but the true crime design, she's awesome. And I love her reporting style. It's really straightforward and to the point. So the first thing I want to do, well, I'll ask about Richard Allen. I have, I, in my own personal ideas, don't think he has anything to do with it. But, well, you know, then I want to look into Sheen Evans. That's the mayor. I don't feel... <coughs> Well, I think he's sketchy AF, first of all. Then the next one is Doug Carter, the state police superintendent. But we're going to start, we'll start with Richard Allen, then Shane Evans. Um, and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to... I wonder if we should do... Did I ever actually do a reading on Ethan? I wonder if I should do a reading on Libby. Let's um, let's just kind of feel this out and see how it goes. I am also debating if I want to use the Game of Thrones because this sounds like a complete butt fuck out there. Sorry, he died at that. It just is like small town politics, but that's okay because now it's all coming to the light. So I'm gonna start with regular Rider Wait, see how we go. Oh, for you guys up there, um. I was editing, or I was watching the other video with just the cards, and you were on the table, and I noticed it shook, shook a lot. So I put you on something that's not on the table. So hopefully it's better, um, and I guess we'll see. But anyway, so we're going to start with Rider Wait first. What we're going to do is we'll 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 talk to Richard Allen, see what's going on. I. My own personal opinion is I think that there are crimes against humanity going on with him. I do not like what I see or feel when I see him. I heard Derp Drop say he thinks it's electroshock therapy. Oh, this card is starting to jump. Okay. So I'm just going to let that card, lay that card out. Sorry up there, you have to see my list now that you're in a new vantage point. Um, so I'm going to clear the energy and... I cleared the whiteboard because now we're, hopefully this is a slam dunk. We can just get in and get out. Um, so, okay, let's get going. So what we're going to do, we have a card. I haven't flipped it over yet. And we're going to start with right away. We're going to talk to, just check in with Richard Allen. Uh, we could do upright yes reversals now, see if he is guilty or not. And if he's not, I want to do a reading on him too. If he is, we should do it anyway. Um, but I really just want to work on this Shane Evans kid. I don't like one thing that I've seen about him. And 
that's fine, but I just, I don't know. I So what we'll do, let's start with Richard Allen so we can either cross him off the list or move him to the whiteboard. The whiteboard's nice and clean. Um, and then, oh, I haven't set quarters. <laughs> I need to pause you. I have to pray and ask for guidance, BRB, or like protection. So just a second. Michael, Jesse, Jesus, Raphael, Gabriel, Uriel, I call in all of the guardian angels of the highest and widest light to protect my energy and my space, only allowing what I need to know to come in. I would like to set the quarters in the north. I would like Gabriel and Raphael. On the east, I would like the Magdalena clan. On the west, Isis and Kuan Yin. On the south, my Archangel Michael surrounded by the grandmothers of the universe. Uriel, if you will act like a bouncer for me, what I need to see to be seen and what I don't won't be seen. I ask for the highest reminded slate and guidance for the questions and the truth for what I'm looking for. Thank you. Okay, I'm back cards out up there. I didn't pause you because I'd have to get up. <laughs> I was really lazy. All right. So let's, let's chat again with Richard Allen and see what his, um, let's just see what his story is. So I'm going to cut these. All right. These cards are definitely ready. Okay, so the first thing, oh, oh, oh man, I don't know if I flipped, for you guys up there, I think I flipped that backwards the way I flipped it, so, oh, well, the good news is, is the truth's going to come out, okay, oh boy, um, all right, so, All right, if I was doing, did I ask a, no, the cards just got ready before I asked a question. Oh, man. Okay. All right. So, and if you guys are watching, I don't have like a set number that I always do. I just do what feels right. So if sometimes you see five, sometimes you see 10, 12, 15, that. I just go by what I'm feels right. So the underlying energy, oh, I don't really know. All right, hold on. I need to regroup on this one. I'm actually going to clear this and ask a specific question because I am not really sure what I'm looking at and I think it will be just best for everyone if I ask a specific question. Um, Richard Allen, did you have anything to do with Abby and Libby? Oh, wait, I should ask it more specifically. Did you have anything to do with the unaliving of Abby and Libby? Richard Allen, did you have anything to do with the unaliving of Abby and Libby? I'm going to do a five-card poll. Was a weird cut. No, yes, 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 yes. All right, I'm gonna do two out of three. <laughs> so we're gonna ask again. We're gonna do two out of three if Richard Allen had anything to do with Abby, the specific act of unaliving Abby and Libby.
no, yes, no, no. That And that was really hard, no. Okay, I feel like I didn't ask the first question the right way, did I? Okay. So in my mind, I'm asking, are, Richard Allen, did you, K-I-L-L, Abby and Libby? Because the tarot is very, very, very literal. It doesn't understand metaphor. I mean, it, well, it does that, but it doesn't understand, like, if I use word, the words, like the censored words we have to use here, it, the tarot, it doesn't do well with it. Well, I feel like, I mean, it might, for other readers, I have no idea, but so in my mind, that last one that I just pulled, I did the specific, did you, K-A-L-L, -L, the girl, like Abby and Libby, the girls, so that it's, the tarot knows like exactly what I'm asking. I'm not being elusive to it. So I just want you guys to know um, that the difference is that I'm asking a direct question about three direct people. And I'm not just being like, censor, censor. So... No, yes, no, 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 no. That's two out of three, as hard, pretty hard nose. So, okay, good, we can wipe that off the list. I knew it. All right, so now we're going on. Now I feel like we're, we need to use the Game of Thrones. Uh, we're gonna go to Shane Evans, he was the mayor, and now he's working for the prosecutor. Um, I only got about three episodes into um, True Crime Design, I think is the link I put in the community post. And I was like, these two are sketchy. I also think that Doug Carter looks sketchy AF. So we're gonna see, we're gonna use, oh, I also brought my little book over for the Game of Thrones. All oh, these cards just feel good. Okay, so Shane Evans, I feel like, what? All right, what do we wanna ask? Like what specific question? I'm gonna ask two separate questions. One, the first one is going to be, and I have to ask in my mind because censors. Um, Shane Evans, did you, Abby and Libby. Okay, that's how we're gonna start and then the next one I'll ask. These cards, for you guys up there, I don't read them in reverse. It just doesn't feel right. All right. already oh boy Great. okay so a bunch of cards just jumped the card that jumped is the star I think from our fire lesson what number is this 15 16 oh, I got a cheat sheet all right so let's see here the star Mars. Okay, so if Mars, I don't know enough about the planets, and I know there are some experts in here. What I wrote were the planets that ruled them. Okay, so the star, I don't know what that is for a horoscope sign. But 
And well, I can tell you he's lying about it, and there's not going to be justice, and the devil's here. All right, I'd say that this is not looking good for, what's this kid's name? Shane. Uh, all right, I'm just going to talk this out. I might have to go back to Rider Waite. Well, let me just tell you the cards that are on the table. So you have the star is the jump, the underlying energy. That's the one that jumped by itself. I don't know who Mars rules. If I had to guess, it would be Monday. So Monday would be... Earth? I really have no idea. So um, then we have the two of coins. This is the one that someone in the comments said, like, the way, okay, I'm just going to talk about how I read it because that's a different reading and it's not mine. <laughs> I read this as duality, that you have the, uh, you have two choices. You can make choice A or choice B. So he was presented with some choices. Um, the star in the Rider Waite is like our, Ethan showed us that a lot when the Emperor was around because the Emperor put the star out. Um... <laughs> So I am not liking anything that I'm seeing right now. Then we have the five of coins. That's like a beggar. It's like fives are chaos, like in general, in my experience and opinion. Oh, there are no facts here. Please do your own research. Did I welcome everyone? Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so grateful. And thank you guys all so much for the readings. It's so fun. Well, it's almost like I already know you guys. I'm like, oh, Someone made a comment about the one of the, the comments that she made, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. Um, so thank you, guys. I feel really, I'm psyched. I'm so psyched, and you have no idea. This, I am really pumped because I'd really love to do this all day, every day. Okay, so in my personal opinion and experience, I think that fives, I'm actually just going to tell you what I see, and if you disagree. I'm also thinking of making a members only because... I just, um, I just think that will be a lot easier for the people that are the, into it. And then all the other people and their opinions, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for leaving them. So that's just something I'm thinking about just because then I'll make a thing. Like I only write back with, if you're a member, because I also feel like then you're more invested. You're not just like swinging in to lower the vibration. And that's one of the things like I have to put on the protection because I just don't put up with it because it's something that like my vibe doesn't match with. It's just not a good match. It's not good for anyone. And it's a really low vibration. It's like gross. So those were just the thoughts. So I'm just going to tell you guys how I see it. Um, if any of the OGs see it or have a, any advice, like then I would love to hear it. Um, so the five, okay, so we have a choice. We also, okay, let me tell you, the underlying energy that we have is the star. The star is like, you can think about this in this context. We're on a different case now. So just erase everything, basically, that you know. And the star is like the northern star. So it's like your sense of direction. It's where you are heading. Let me just tell you what his underlying energy is. Oh, let's guess, El Diablo. So... Speaking of low vibes, that's all I, well, there's definitely evil in the world. That's not an illusion. That's very real. And that's because it goes back to the wolf, which will you feed. If you feed into jealousy and insecurity, fighting on Facebook and stuff that lowers your vibe, reading too much news, that's, I'll tell you about my opinion about that later, but it's not an opinion. It's, there are case studies based on the fact it's propaganda. It's like, the same lines, different. I mean, study Hitler for 10 seconds and he did the same stuff. It's, you just have to be very mindful of where you're getting your information. If it doesn't feel right, then don't j just leave it there. And don't um, give any low vibe. That would be anything like, that is, this is not a good omen for this kid, Sheen. And I don't like that name anymore. I never even really liked it. But if I did, I definitely don't. So, okay. So the underlying energy for this kid is the star. 
it's his northern star. It's, oh, maybe it's trying, his intuition is trying to reach him because there's a lot of BS in the way. So then he had a decision. He was feeling poor, chaotic. He was like, yeah, let's do it. I have no money or I have no sense of moral compass, which is what it's looking like. Then we have the nine of spear. Oh, that's the nine of wands in our rider weight. And that's like a fighting card. I mean, these kids are ready to fight. You guys can see it probably. We have the magician. So the magician is a good guy ish. He can, well, magicians are tricky. They can, the, uh, it's not always what you think it is. So oh, it's like the magician has all four elements. It's in second grade. If you're looking at the fool's journey and magicians are trickster. I, in this context, it's a trickster. What? I'm not reading these cards in reverse, but if I was, we have justice in reverse, which I don't want to see. Oh, you know what? The scales of justice. This place is corrupt AF, I'm guessing. Uh, so I'm not going to read it in reverse. It really does change the entire reading, but it just doesn't feel right. I'm just going to, I don't know. Okay, so... We have the Northern Star. We'll think about that as the Northern Star. Like G they followed it to go find Jesus. It's like a compass, a moral compass. Then we have the two of coins. This is the, for me, duality. It's like, am I going to sell my soul to the devil? Or am I going to not be a douche? Well, I'm really poor. This is also, it could be an action card. Trying to think of what the five of or five of pentacles is on the rider weight. Well, this is just poverty. I mean, the kids, he's homeless and he's begging for money. Oh, this is the one when they're outside the church. Then we have the nine of sword, uh, sorry, nine of wands. And this is, it says spears on here. This is a this is action. This is a fighting card. It's really like almost a completion, but it's not the end of 10. It would be the end. Or I'm sorry, a page. Do we have tens? No, it would be a page. Then we have the magician. He's like, I don't like him because he's between justice and the devil. Oh, El Diablo. So this kid's a complete loser. Oh, all right. Well, the two cards. Oh, great. This is just great. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting like, all right, so the King of Cups is ruling this joint. We probably could have guessed that. The Hierophant. I have to switch these to regular right away. Hold on, this is telling a way bigger story. I like these cards and I think they're really awesome, but for some reason, I just feel like I have to switch to right away. Um, We're already at 17 minutes. Okay. All right. We had a card. Oh, I wasn't even asking a question. All right. All right. These cards are ready. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to set these guys right here. This is the underlying energy. It's the Eight of Cups. We have, oh man, all right. But we got a lot of the same cards. Oh, yep, we got a lot of the same cards we just got in that last deck. All right, his cups are all in reverse. Okay, underlying energy is the Eight of Cups. That's like walking away. His cups are full, but he's walking away from everything. My specific question was, Shane, did you, Abby and Libby, and what we're looking at here 
pages. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups upright. That's fine. I mean, that's just like a walking away card. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. In our last reading, this was always represented of the party. What I'm going to see it here, because we're in a whole different case, like we've cleared the cards, cleared the deck, cleaned the energy, it's all, it's done. I'm going to read this like three people were involved again. Um, actually, it could also be an addiction card. I have two cups in reverse. This can be an alcoholism. It could be addiction of some kind. We have death in reverse. So I, I've said this before. I don't love death. It's a change. Oh, so things are going to stay the same. We have justice. We just got justice. And we have the ace of pentacles in reverse. So this is like a contract, not a contract. It's like... Yeah, it's like a broken contract. Then we have the hermit. The hermit is a sage. He's smart. Then we have another alcoholism card, and then we got that duality card again. Okay. <laughs> we have another card we just got. This is the Four of Pentacles in reverse, so that's losing money. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Someone's definitely, oh, when we have the stab in the back, someone bought him off. In my, this is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only. I'm just chick with the tarot, tarot cards. I'm just reading energy. And in my personal opinion, uh, la la. Probably should have checked to see if this kid's still alive. Does anyone, I mean, I'm gonna Google it when I get off the phone or off this with you guys. I think he got betrayed. I think what happened was he did sign a contract. It went south. He was promised the pentacles. We have a knight of pentacles here. He was promised pentacles and then the contract was broken. Something happened. We have the thief. That's the card in the last case that showed us. D-bag. But what we do have is overkill. I don't know anything about the girl's situation at all. Like, I literally have watched three of True Crime Designs kind of setting the stage for the feel of the town. I do remember, oh, why don't we use the Cult of Odin cards? Hi guys. 
Uh, well, either he's about to get stabbed in the back, he did get stabbed in the back, or this could be referencing what happened to the girls. He might also try to run. We have this Six of Swords. That's an action card. I think someone smarter than him. I don't think he's that bright. Um, I think someone smarter than him set him up, but not set him up. I mean, just he made a deal with the devil and that's really all it is. Oh no, oh, they got the happy home. And I know I just said these are separate cases. This was fake for every decision maker in the Idaho 4 case. Every one of them got this ha fake happy home. Darn, I didn't even really like looking at this kid, so I didn't really pick up his energy. I just got trash. <laughs> okay. We have to figure out more about this kid. I mean, he was really easy to buy off, I'll tell you that. Oh boy. Lala, El Diablo is one card away. So, we have the wheel. This also is symbolic of our homie. This is like when, oh, okay, this could be he was presented with a option. And so he chose, I would say, well, based on El Diablo, he chose the wrong option because now his like world look, I mean, I'm going to put justice at the top because justice is a major arcana card and it just feels right on top. I hope it means, I hope it really means something good. So what we're painting a picture of or what's being painted for me right now is like slime ball. He was easy to buy off. Someone much smarter than him by, or I would say um, to cohort, I wouldn't even call it a cohort, like um, to discuss some kind of contract. I have no idea what it was, but it got broken. So that's not really the important part. All of our pentacles are in reverse, except our page, pages we just learned are the messengers. They run it back and forth. They tell the news. Um, I'm just holding these because I just want to explain it. So we have a little page and we have the knight. Knights, they are an action card. The pentacles are slow moving now. But with these are paid the dollars. Um, other than the action cards, the rest of the pentacles are all in reverse, except for the choice. So this is telling me he had like a choice. They... <laughs> I'm getting something really cheesy, like showed him a wad of cash, like, oh, if you do this, and he took the choice. I'm just assuming because, well, here's the choice. So he had the choice. He spun the wheel and El Diablo is waiting for him on the other side. And El Diablo is karmic. There are 12 karmic laws. One of them is gravity. I've explained that before. doesn't matter if you're nice or not. If you jump off a building, you will fall. The karmic laws, well, that's one of them. And that's why you want to send only high vibes out if you're even thinking of like bad force anyone else, doesn't matter. Like all those people you were mad at in high school, just forgive them because that reverberates back to you. It's called the butterfly effect. If you're trying to manifest anything, you dilute it or you like block it as soon as you do that. So yeah, I mean, this kid's, if someone gave him a choice, I could even, I'll even show you guys where did my pen. So someone offered him money. Someone brought him money. He made a decision. He spun the wheel. And El Diablo is waiting for him right here. I mean, death was in reverse, but death's right here too. Okay, so this kid sucks.
Oh, good start. <laughs> I'm definitely going to say this is no emperor. This is nobody that... This is, I feel like it's just a, um, not a patsy. It's like, it's almost like frat row. Do the dirty work for us and that kind of a feeling. If you watched it, if you didn't, please don't ask my <laughs> Just kidding. Um, this hermit is telling me that someone smarter than him offered him all this stuff. Oh, and it certainly, like, he's trying to run away. He could be picking up a drinking problem. I have no idea. I mean, this it's scales of justice, balance, balance. She's right here. We have the overkill. This is, and then we also have this fake happy home. And the reason I'm calling it fake is because when I figured out that D-Bag was working for both the feds and the organization, this card came up. It was the nine of cups and that's like, or maybe a 10 of cups, whatever that happy home card is in the cups family. And then every time I saw it after that, it was a decision maker and it was always upright. It was like just kind of a mind fun. Probably because what they do on the outside, everything looks so perfect. Happy home. And what they were talking about, like a lot of the press releases were like, we were so happy. So let's just say Shane Evans might get his own nickname because he was offered a deal. He was brought the deal. No, wait, he was offered a deal. He was brought the money to make the deal. He spun the wheel. El Diablo is waiting right here and change, hard change is right here. We could look at it that way. This is in reverse, so, and I respect these, obviously I respect them. So we'll just take that card out of the equation. Um, he was offered money, he made a decision. He was brought the money for his decision. He spun the wheel and it ended on El Diablo. The nicest thing that we've I've ever been able to say about El Diablo is that he's a Capricorn because I'm a Capricorn. And the Capricorn male apparently are really hard to date. I've never tried to date one. I've never been that interested in it. I don't even know if I know a Capricorn male. But the point is, is I guess I should have checked this kid's birthday. Well, we, I think we're going to break this stuff down too. Because El Diablo, in general, well, he's a major arcana. He's showing you all the shadow sides. He's addiction. Oh, see, I think I think he has some kind of an addiction too, other than being a complete loser. Um, but we have all the cups in reverse. That's always been addiction to me. It can also be like his emotions are all over the place. Uh, you think? <laughs> um. So El Diablo, the nicest thing I can say about him is he's a Capricorn male. And the only reason I say that is because I'm a Capricorn female. And I used to make jokes he like cold places because Capricorns notoriously are like mountain goats. But I mean, I don't know anything nice about him. That's the nicest thing I can say. This is this is the peculiar part. This is our unknown right here, our hermit again. Um, in our last, in the Idaho 4 case, two people played Almost three people played the hermit at various points in the unfolding of the story. Like the first few times that it was showing up, it was breaking down the communications and how it all worked. Then it was um, uh, the delinquent's brother, like the delinquent, the brother. And then... It was at the very end when Little Miss Muffet came. It was D-Bag. She got demoted. She was never really demoted. The way that I'm looking back now and processing it is Ethan was showing us the betrayals as he was seeing them that night. It was like a 30 reading. Oh, that's another thing. For all of you guys that are numbers that are like into more number stuff, um... The, there's something, I know we got a lot of fours too, but there's something significant about threes. And I get it's well, it's the perfect trinity. It's a triangle. It's like a foundational card, but it's also, he had us end it at number 30. That was the last one we did. And so um, if anyone who know, has any idea, like whatever you just thought of that came to your mind, let me know. I was just curious about it. Um, so the way that I now uh, have, you know, what is it? The Monday morning quarterback with the high, the 
advantage of hindsight. I can look back now and, and the way that he was on unreal unveiling it to us was the way he was learning it that night. So in 30 readings, we did like his six hours or five hours in a night as he was on like figuring out how things were happening. That's how I got it. So now our mystery man is this hermit. Huh. Well, I would just say that this kid's like, he might need a nickname, but I think he's a loser, which is fine. I think a lot of these people that we're looking into are, but the good news is, is Richard Allen's like totally in the clear. I asked the exact specific question of, did you have him twice and got two really hard no's, which I knew it. And I think they are doing that um, electroshock therapy. I, he does not look well. I'll tell you that. He looks like scared animal. It's not right what they're doing to him. That's my personal opinion. And now the cards just confirm he has nothing to do with it. It's... I mean, maybe he has like a... I don't know, but it wasn't him. So... It's almost like... You know, in our last case, who was in the spotlight, it, it was like, who's hiding in plain sight? It was the most, well, only became obvious at the end. Definitely not even hiding in plain sight. Wrote a book about it. Oh. All right. So in my mind, I asked, Oh, the other question was, uh, I had two questions. One of them was, did you, Abby and Libby, you know what? I'm going to clear this. I want to do a reading on Abby, or I'm sorry, Libby. Um, I don't really know why. Let's just do it on her and see what we get. I want to use something gentler for her. You know what I want to use? I want to do the Light Seekers Tarot. I feel like that's nice and gentle. Because, and the more that, like, I, we start digging into this, and I'm going to start seeing, like, symbols or colors. That's how a lot of the times I do. And so if I start seeing, like, one particular color, one of them might like it more. Because, it, I'm, I'll explain that later, but we're going to use a little... Lightseekers Tarot, and I just want to check in with little Libby and see, I don't know, I feel like it's like, I should just ask the cards which one of the girls it is that I can feel. I guess they could be both of them. I didn't even think of that until just now. Oh, sorry about all this. Um, I'm going to use these fortune telling cards. They're just yes or no's. They just have yes or no's in here. Because I just want to ask if we're talking to Libby.
All right. So let's just ask. I'm just going to ask a yes or no question. Um, Libby, is this actually, hold on. That feels weird. I have to like cut it. Hold on. That felt weird. Okay. Libby, is that you? Possibly. I know uh, Ashley reads these upside down. I don't really. Okay, so possibly. All right. Did I say Libby? Abby, is that you? Oh my God, yes. Aren't those so cute? How cute is that? Oh, so I said Abby is that. Oh, so Libby's um here, but Abby is the strong one. Well, and I don't mean strong by anything other than the fact that I can, I could feel one of their energies. And I looked at a picture and I thought it was Libby. Um, but I said to Abby. So the reason that the, I just did all that was because I said, oh, let's ask Abby instead of Libby. So then I was like, oh, maybe it's Abby. So that's just when you're following your intu intuition. It's like that still small voice. Um, and if you ignore it, it doesn't usually work out very well. So maybe perhaps it's, and how cute is this? Like, so 14. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, can you guys see that? So little Miss Abby. Okay, good. That feels better already. Yeah, that feels good. Okay. So why don't we just ask them yes, no questions. Ask her what she wants us to, I guess what we could do for this douche. Sorry. And I know that's a horrible word. And, um, I'm sorry. Um, all right. Hi, Abby. Um, cool. Okay, good. That just felt so much better. It's like the way it felt was like, it was like it clicked into place. Oh, you know, when you're putting your seatbelt on and it clicks and you know, it's like in, that's like how it felt. It felt like it clicked in. So it's Abby. Um, did Shane Evans, you, uh, what is the card that jumped? Oh, great. So the cards that we got are, you must be having a laugh and don't count on it. So he's just corrupt. He's not a. Oh, why don't we ask if Richard Allen did Richard Allen? We already got to know, but. I'm asking in my head about did Richard Allen. Find your own answer. All right. Well, that was really nice, ladies. Let's see. Oh, why don't we just ask if we need to go more into Shane Evans? saying no it's saying like we don't need to go into him mm, let's do a reading what time is it i'm sorry you guys it's getting long it's like whoever recommended those other decks i think i'm gonna have to get them because like nothing it's what this didn't happen in the beginning of delphi or of the um idaho case it started happening at the end when the closer we got to the emperor so, okay, what does that mean? The closer we got to the emperor was when we started, it really started becoming an issue. But right now, like nothing is feeling right. It's really weird. I guess it's, there's nothing weird here anymore. All right, Miss Abby, what would you like to tell us? Are these like the most gentle cards that I have? Um, I have some, actually, I'm going to pause you or I'll just. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to put a few of these decks over here. All right, so I'm holding the Lightseeker Tarot. I'm getting something that's like a really gentle, like use a gentle deck. So I have this secret language of light. Oh, that was something I wanted to remember to tell you guys. The day that I was trying to explain channeling, light, I'm getting messages at the speed of light. So the speed of sound is like seven seconds. So when I'm doing that and I'm channeling, it comes, it's light language. It comes at the speed of light. And I just don't think I made that very clear, but all right. I have a deck that has to do with Jesus and I'm going to use that one. I'm feeling like super, super gentle. I'm going to read this um, in the loving, the wo loving words from Jesus. Oh, whoever made that comment about Temu or TMU got these bad boys from there. It was like $3. Oh, this is it. Um, but it was, all right, little Miss Abby. Let's see here. Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Ask and you shall receive. Your joy may be full. Oh my God, what she's trying to tell us. I feel like she hasn't crossed over. That is not really that great. I mean, it's fine because there is no time on the other side. But what she needs is closure. There is some serious injustice going on here. So we'll find it. That's what we'll do. That's why we're here. That's why we got brave. It's like, I think in the, oh, Brene, Brene Brown, I absolutely love her. It's like, be brave, I think is one of the books that I read. And that was a couple of years ago, but I feel like I finally put on my be brave pants. All right. I'm going to do one more from Archangel Michael and see maybe there's something in these that I'll figure out later. I don't really know. God is in charge. Dear God, please help me let go. Oh, I'm sorry. These are the Archangel Michael cards. Dear God, please help me let go of the situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. Oh. I feel like that's important. Oh, these are for me. I just got it. Okay, so God is in charge. That's like... It's pro or it could be for somebody or the collective, you guys listening. It's to let go and trust the plan for Idaho. All the right people are in all the right places. So like just it's like um, when you're doing affirmations and you write it down and then you forget about it. That's what this is saying to me. It's just like now let it go and move on. You, like all the right things are in place. So, but this one is the one I felt like was for me. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts. So I was just talking about fears. Granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. Oh. Got it. So... Okay, I got it. I was just talking about leaving Corporateville. And it's like, just have faith and trust. Oh, and we just talked about manifesting. Okay. Got it. All right. I'm going to keep my... All right. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, We're at 49 minutes. So...
something like something feels off and I don't know what it is. I'm going to try another deck. This is the, um, the secret language of light. Oh, oh, um, this will go along with the Rebecca Campbell books. That's a, I'll explain those, but not right now. But who needs to know that? Understood it. There is only light. <laughs> um, okay. So little Miss Abby, she's not stuck. Well, she certainly is, but, it's, and this is just what I'm getting. I have no idea what everyone else is getting. I have no idea what other people are reading on it. I haven't seen anyone read on it, which is fine. Or maybe, I don't know. If I did, I already forgot about it. Like, I'm not getting like she's stuck and she needs to go to the, I'm just going to ask my angels to help her. Um, if she needs to go to the light, then she will. That's just a, like a process. It's not, well, it's certainly not a bad thing. You don't want to stay in this Dumb. Well, I did her no, I did no, never mind. All right, we're gonna do one more. I have no idea if these are gonna work. I've never used them before. Does she like animals? Does she like horses by any chance? Abby. I think she must. Okay. Um, tonight, before I fall asleep, I'm gonna ask my angels to help her or give her or tell me what I need to do. I think she's stuck. I'm gonna try these Adventure Time ones. They're like little kid ones. Um, my, I know some of, oh, Famous, no, it's not Famous Fortune. Which one? Divine Pathways? Mystical Fortunes. I wrote, I got my cheat sheet. She uses these for Prince Harry. These are like, he stole my nuts, that one. Sad squirrel. Uh, I'm gonna try these ones. If these don't work, I'm gonna pray on it tonight. Oh, if you guys want. I want to explain this. So if I ever say like you need to pray, it doesn't matter what you're Christian or whatever your belief system is. It does not matter. The reason I tell or I say that is because of the power of prayer. Think of it. It's called the intranet, the intranet. Wait, no, no, it's not. It's called the intraweb. And so if you think about it, like www, you're clicking www so that's telling your computer that you need to go into the pool and then you're writing mm, moonshineshop.com so that's telling your computer to go into the pool of everyone find this specific um, address and send me to that address so when you pray it goes into the collective and then like I can connect to it. Everyone can connect to it. And I'm not joking about the power of prayers and unbelievably powerful, wonderful thing, but it connects you. The other day, I'm just going to tell this part of the story. When I was doing on the reader, I was doing a reading on the girl I didn't know is our, in our posse. I could feel her start praying. I'll use that click example. It like clicks. Like I asked her to pray because some, well, depending on what the reading is, it's just whatever it comes. It's, there's no like one way I do it all. It always just goes the way it feels. But I asked her to pray. And as soon as she started praying, it started, it just clicked. Everything like clicked. And I could feel her praying right at that moment. And so then things get very clear. It's kind of like when you're on the AT&T or what was it? Yahoo Mail. It's like, no, AOL. And it just spins and spins and takes forever. Well, when you're both praying or, you know, the power of three, the perfect trinity, then it's like you're now on the World Wide Web. You, you upgraded from the phone where it calls the phone line to the Ethernet where it just goes straight up. It happened instantly. So when we were so she had a strong 
I did talk about your spiritual endurance for things like when it's easy, it's easy. But when it's hard, you have to have the endurance to do it. She had a strong, I'm going to say prayer base or faith base, whatever it is. But it's not faith like you believe in something. It's like a strong prayer practice. Yeah. Daily practice or something. Because as soon as she started praying, it clicked. It didn't take like forever or whatever, but I just want to, I'm trying to use that as an example of the importance of prayer, asking for protection. The other thing about protection, I'm just going to bring this up too, is entities can transfer through things like YouTube, TikTok. So that white light that I was explaining, pretend you're in the shower and let the white light wash over you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet and all around your body and watch it go down the drain put that white light on in the morning and at night, just because you're part of an army. This is like a spiritual battle and you're not, the white's winning. That's good news. But that's why I'm very conscientious of like lowering the vibration. Like I don't want the negative. There's enough negative in the whole world. And like uh, what I have been, um, I would say it probably was my sole agreement that I would help teach to spread light. Everyone has a mission here. Everyone has a job. I'm guessing because I tried to ignore it for 20 years at least. And somebody did ask me to explain that story. I will. I'm just not right. I don't know why. I will though. Yes. And um, I can just start it off with, I grew up in a super Catholic New England home. Putnam is my last name. We were on the Mayflower. You might I mean, there's, you've heard of the Putnams. We were also involved in the Salem witch trials, yada, yada. Um, Puritans. So we're not Puritans anymore. We're Catholics. But the point is, um, I just, I want to tell you the story. It's like so unbelievable. I thought Tinkerbell was following me around one day. I'm not joking. And so I told this woman I worked with and I was like, I thought, I, like, I thought Tink was with me. It was really weird, but it wasn't, it was Tink, like Tinkerbell. And everything I know about fairies is like, I mean, there's all of the like stuff, but like there's the Irish fairies, they are they have fairy folk. It's like a whole thing. And so I was afraid that like Tink was following me around. So I ended up telling this woman, there are no coincidences, who's like a practicing everything she knew all about what I was talking about and she would really took me under a wing she was also a master in her world and so the training that I got was to become that a master in that and so it all started because I thought Tink was following me around and I was like I did not know what to do I didn't want to tell anyone because it sounds so nuts I could always see things and in my gut I always knew things like I could see angels and stuff like I always knew it was there, but because I was like raised very much in a way that it is not, that is not how things were in my Catholic home. I'll just tell you that right now. My mom and my dad still take communion every morning. Like they would probably go to mass if they could 14 times a day. Uh, so let's just say that's not something I'd call home and ask about. <laughs> and if my parents are watching, I love you very much. <laughs> They're not, but um so I thought Tink was following me. That's what happened. And I ended up telling a woman who was very versed and knew exactly what was like going on. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was such a magical, at the time it wasn't that magical, but it was really cool because it would, it gave me the safe space to like start figuring it out. It was really neat. And then I've been pushing it away for like another 10 years. When did that happen? Probably in 16. So I guess seven or eight years. I've been really trying not to tell anyone. And then um, if any of you guys know who Callie is, she's part of like ISIS, Mary Magdalena, the Mary Magdalene family, um, Mother Mary. She's part of that crew. She's with Kuan Yin. Um, if you guys know who I'm talking about, well, Callie shows up. If you ever do a reading and Callie shows that up, you might as well. Kelly is the destroyer because you have to clear all the BS out of your way so that you can do what your mission is. Like whatever your mission is, if you're pushing it off and you're not doing it, 
and Kelly shows up, you are about to lose. It's like, it would be like a tower moment, except it's like it's so seriously legit. Kelly does not mess around. She's a wonderful, wonderful goddess or whatever. When I call in the quarters, I ask for um, on the West Mary Magdalene, I'm sorry, on the East, the Magdalena, Mary Magdalene, Ma Magdalena clan um, that goes all the way down through Joan of Arc. And some people around are claiming to be part of it. I have no idea. I have no opinion on it. It could care less. I just feel very much drawn to the Magdalena, the Jesus, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary crew. And then on the West, I am Isis and Kwan Yin, the white buffalo woman. She's a part of that crew. Um, and then in the North is Uriel. It just depends on which archangel feels right. Ezekiel, it just depends. And then I ask whoever it feels right to also be the bouncer. So I used to block all darkness because I just didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> That's really why there's duality. I have to. So now I ask one, whoever's in the North. Um, and if there's not, a, I mean, you could probably read somewhere in a book. And you can do that, but this is just what feels right for me. So um, whoever's in the north, it's usually two of them. And then I ask one of them to be my bouncer and to allow the things through that I need to get to have the whitest light and the truth. So sometimes you have to see a lot of darkness like that last 30 readings. And then in the south, I have Archangel Michael. And then all around is the grandmothers of the universe. And that's how I protect my sacred space. I have no idea why I felt like I needed to just tell you guys all that. So hopefully someone, it resonated with someone. If it didn't, just leave it there. Don't take it with you. Um, but I, apparently somebody needed to hear that or it need to be said or something. So that was how I started. I have been really trying to stay in the closet for a really long time. I've, I really have not been... But it's just because I like corporate, I, I do marketing stuff and I liked it. Um, but anyway, so that's basically how it started. And that was like in 2015 or 16. So to that, after 2012, then it became clearer and clearer. And then in 2015, it was like, I thought Tink was, but it was really just trying to get my attention. Apparently I was not tuned into the still small voice. Tink didn't stay around for long, but I still love her. I think she's awesome. Um, and then uh, Callie showed up in a few of my readings, and my experience with Callie is like rock bottom. If you like, don't listen to the still small voice. It's just rock bottom until you do. <laughs> so uh, that's what happened. And then I was feeling so called to start this, and so that's where I am. Um, in recap, I'm going to just wrap this up. It's already at an hour, but in recap, um, Richard Allen had nothing to do with Abby and Libby. Tonight, Abby is the one I've been connecting with. It, whoever suggested it, it planted a seed so that when we could close Idaho, like the, we got it to where Ethan was happy. And then, um, so he moved on and now it made room for Abby and Libby. I'm just going to use them both for right now because that's where I am. Um, we looked into Shane Evans. I probably need, this is just an energy reading. No facts here. I'm just reading energy on a deck of cards. Um, someone offered him a deal, offered him money, offered him a deal. He spun the wheel of fortune. He took the deal. He took the money. And on the other side of that deal was the devil. Made a deal with the devil. I also got that he's not very bright. But someone is bright that's around him. The hermit, to me, well, especially in the last case, meant someone smarter. At the time when I thought that D-bag was the emperor, it was representing someone smarter than the emperor, which isn't always true, but it was yet in the last reading. But we got the hermit again, and I'm just reading that like someone smarter than him. He's like at his own rock bottom. He could be dealing with a drinking problem or an addiction of some kind. And that is where we got with Miss Abby and Libby. Oh, I feel like also they, I don't know about Libby, but I don't feel like Abby's crossed over. So tonight when I meditate and pray, I'm going to ask her angels, like my angels to ask hers, like for guidance, if I, if she needs help crossing or what, like what, I don't know, 
what the deal is. And I'm just going to give it to a higher source and that's not me. So I will do that. Um, I have no idea what tomorrow night is going to be because I didn't really have a strong, I just did not like anything I saw about this Evans kid. I thought he was sketchy. Um, and so that's where we are tonight. Um, oh, and I went, did a recap of Sid, like I, that's how I fall in my angels when I'm reading cards or working with anyone else's energy. So anytime that I'm like doing a reading or whatever, that's what I do. I call that in. Um, and whenever I do a reading, I call that stuff into, and if I don't do it, it just doesn't feel right. And the, it's, I like having the bouncers there. It makes me feel like what I'm seeing is like horrible, but I am seeing it because it will get us to an end point. It's not because it's like the dark side, just like fucking with you. That's what, anyway. So that was a little, uh, spirituality lesson. Thanks for asking how I, well, you guys are kind of watching it in real time. This is like, I'm not, I haven't established a career. I was thinking about leaving and then we got an angel card that said to trust my intuition and to give it to God and to stop obsessing. So pretty sure that was clear. Um, so you guys are watching it all in real time. I don't really have like anything, but anyway, I hope that was better for you guys up there. And with that, I will love you and leave you and see you next time. Have a good night. Hello, hello. I hope you guys can see up there. Um, good afternoon. It is part two of, we're going to go into the Delphi case some more. I prayed and meditated and asked for guidance. And I don't know if someone who is emotionally attached or something to this case, um, but I got to use the beginner deck. So if someone's learning, they're attached to it somehow. Um, and to do it during this daylight. So we're mixing it up today. Um, so that's what we're going to try. And I also, someone had asked me to do a Troy McCoy with the Chris Watts case. And I did it about a month ago. I just found it. Well, I just kind of forgot that I did it. So um, that's uploading right now. By the time you see this, it's already up. And that's a much deeper dive. That that was a great tip. Like, tip? That was a great suggestion. Um, oh, hi. I'm Kate. Welcome. Thank you for coming. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you all so much for bookings and readings and... Um, aura cleanses, chakra cleanse, past life regressions. It's awesome. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so those were just the housekeeping things that I wanted to check or to say today we are going to, all right. So the tip was during the day and use the beginner deck. So that's cool. So, um, I want to look at Kelsey German. Um, I know, wait, Abby and Libby. It's one of the sisters. Shoot, I, I could have done a little more research. But what I wanted to figure out, all I did was True Crime Design has so many, she's done a great job with the research. Her birthday is December 28th. So that makes her Capricorn, which also makes her, if we, I don't know what her connection to it is. It seems to be that, the family hasn't been cleared yet. This is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. Um, but I remember hearing something about, it was questionable, something about her alibi or the sweatshirts that the girls were wearing. And True Crime Design, or yeah, True Crime Design, also found like this kind of mob, I don't know, like an outsider getting accused of a murder from like 1872 in this little county. So Carroll County. So what we're going to do, all I did with Kelsey, the, that's the sister, was look at her birthday. She's a Capricorn. 
Um, so there are a lot of people on here. Shane Evans, I didn't check his birthday. He, um, we'll see what we do with Kelsey and then we'll move on. I'm home alone for a couple of hours. So I wanted to get a few done. I mean, just kind of see where it takes us. So, um, I think that's it. All right. So we just want to check in with Kelsey. Let's just see what her deal is. Um, what's going on with her? Okay, we have the moon in reverse. That's our underlying energy. Um, we have the six of wands in reverse. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. We have the page of wands upright. The two of cups. Temperance. In reverse. And the empress in reverse. Hmm. All right. Oh boy. Okay, slow down here. All right, let's talk this out. Okay, so all I did was ask. Oh, I forgot to put on protection. Sorry. I have to pause you just a second. Okay, welcome back. So what we're looking at here is we have the moon in reverse. That's our underlying energy. So the good news about that is that we, um, those are secrets coming out. <laughs> this is the only, well, the good news for us, that's good news. Um, we have the, Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this is the moon in reverse. And then here is the oh, Nine of Wands. This is in reverse. So I'm just going to explain it before I start showing them because I don't really know what this is saying yet. So we have the Nine of Wands in reverse. This is like, well, Wands in reverse, they're the fastest moving element. Fire's fast. So if it's in reverse, it's going to be slow. It's going to be like, <laughs> oh man it's it's like um lacking motivation you're feeling like you're overwhelmed you're on edge you can't sleep we have the three pentacles in reverse anytime you have a pentacle in reverse things are not going well financially um that is disharmony group conflict um Working alone, lack of teamwork. Hmm. We have the page of wands. Pages are always our messenger. Wands are always the fire, so they're always fast. So this page of wands, he's a fast little messenger. And he's upright, so he's, like, inspirational. He can also be, like, your idea has come to fruition, and now you're implementing the plan. So you're not at the manifesting phase. You're, you've passed all that. It's coming to fruition and now you're in, you are implementing the plan. Um, it can be freedom. Then we have the Two of Cups upright. The Two of Cups in the Idaho 4 case represented the party. It's like unific. It could be love. It could be partnership. It's an agreement. 
like you're holding your cups. It's also an emotions. It cups are water. So it's like that could be a marriage. I don't know about this girl already. Oh no. Okay. Then we have temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse is like. And temperance is an angelic card. It's like in both, you know, you have one foot in and one foot out. You have of the water, so water is your emotions. It's an angelic card when it's upright. In reverse, it can be like addiction, alcoholism, not being able to see clearly. You're on the roller coaster. It can be like excess and imbalance. Then we have the empress in reverse. This is when you, if you have an empress in reverse, it's like a creative block frustration. It's not as psycho as this queen of swords in reverse, but we have the king of swords in reverse right here. Oh, oh boy. Mm. We have the empress and the king of swords in reverse. I have no idea what their family life is like. I'm guessing it's not a very happy home. We have the two parental cards in reverse. The woman, like in the female role, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman, but it's like selfish and patient. The empress in reverse is like, it's almost lazy. It's like someone who's, you know who I would expect to see is Prince Harry, is an empress in reverse. Someone who's just like, Never done anything. This could just be a selfish block time frame that she's going through. Maybe her mom is. This can also be an infidelity card. Um, there's So we have two anxiety cards. Where did I see the other anxiety? Oh, so the nine of wands is anxiety. Somebody is not sleeping well. <laughs> then we have the king of swords in reverse. So I'm going to keep talking this out. Um, I will. Do we have? Hmm. Okay, we also have two um, manipulation cards on here. Weakness. Then we have this rock in a hard place. This is when the one I always say is like stuck between two decisions. They're both bad decisions, but one of them's worse than the other. Um, so you're weighing your options. The good, well, I don't really know if this is good news or not for us, but we have the overkill card. This is the 10 of swords. It's in reverse. So that means all the swords are falling out. You're healing. Um, it can't get any worse than from here. We have the fool. The fool's upright. So that's our happy little boy. He was running into a party. Oh, we have the wheel of fortune. That um, is an end. That's the end. It should be death. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That's the world. The wheel of fortune is you're spinning your wheel. So you make it, you have like, you're spinning the wheel of fortune. You're taking a chance on a decision that you're making, which is right before it. So it's a circle. It's a completion. It can be like, I'm not reading it right now. It's a completion. Um, there's a lot of regret. I don't know who we are picking up, but this is whoever this is, is not doing well. Uh, let's just say that we have the hanged man. The hangman is like trying to get a new perspective, trying to see things in a different light. <laughs> yeah, I hope they are. Um, this girl, I don't know if this is her. All right, I'm going to clear this and I'm going to ask for some clarification on. Let's get some clarification on the Ten of Swords.
Oh, man. And she has an alibi. I feel like alibis are just... Oh, judgment just jumped out. Okay, wait. Are we 100%? I'm just going to read this and pretend I don't know anything better. But I do remember hearing she had an alibi. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna call bullshit on her alibi. Here's the Queen of Swords. We know our Queen of Swords. What did this girl get herself into? It was for money. Okay, so, all right, fine. I don't know. This is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only. But what I'm looking at right now is I am going to say it's not looking good for anyone I'm just going to keep talking about. Then we have the six of wands. In it was in reverse, but you might recognize this card. This was the one that always needs outside validation. It represented Quinn and Dylan in the last readings or the last case. It's in reverse though. So in reverse, it's everything reversed. So it's like your ego. To, your ego is running the place. Um, you're discredited. You're not. You're not getting the public recognition that you want. Lack of confidence. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, man. This does not... So we have the king and the queen of swords here. Is her mom and the empress? Okay. I have no idea. I have... I don't know about her family. If she was old enough... I would, I don't know. I'm just going to tell you what the females around her and the males from a parental view is the mom's like wearing the pants. She can be perceived as bossy. She can be like very much her way or the highway. The queen of swords in general is just a cold card. It's not cuddly and warm and soft, but the empress in reverse it's telling me someone may have stepped out. And I'm guessing it's the dad because he's right here in reverse. So the way that I'm seeing this is like, there was some serious discord at home. So she signed a contract. It's nice of pentacles. It's also like she might have gotten paid for something. To me, all right, I'm just going to tell you what I see, and then I'm going to talk it back. What I see is like our little fool running straight in. It's almost, it's not like a, okay. Oh, I almost am feeling like, was she, what was she involved in? Like, what's this girl like? Because it's almost the way I'm kind of, I mean, the hang fan to me has also meant no free will. Like, I'm not saying she's a victim by any means. Mm. 
what the All right, so I'm going to ask a more clear. I need a clear question because right now we'll just take this as like the overall energy in her life. Her family life is a complete mess. Her dad might have stepped out, might have gotten caught. So he dumped his girlfriend. She had a tough decision to make. So she was kind of hanging around. Then, so she had a tough decision. She was offered some money, and then she makes the partnership. Okay. So let's ask a clearer question. Um, let's... Um, what is, <gasps> all right, Kelsey German, that must be Abby German, it must be Abby's sister, Abby German, I thought her name was German, I don't know, I'm keeping the girls lumped as one right now, um, and maybe like, this happened in the daytime, that's why they're like, the energy, I don't really know what is going on with the energy, but what I want to know. All right. Let's ask it this way. Did Kelsey know that like, did she set the girls up in a trap? Did she know that there was something bad potentially waiting for them on that bridge or wherever they found I like there's so many stories there's actually a great documentary this woman did she self-funded it it was phenomenal I'll find the name of it and put it in here so when Kelsey German dropped the girls off for their walk on that unusually warm February day did she know what potential like did she know what was going to happen why don't we just do upright yes reversals now when kelsey german dropped the girls off at the bridge that day did she know what was waiting for them we'll just do upright yes reversals no no and we'll just do a five card pull. yes yes no no yes I'm going to say that's yes. And I mean, I can do two out of three. They're the same cards. I'll do two out of three. Let's do that. For the benefit of the doubt. All right. When Kelsey German dropped the girls off, did she know what was waiting for them on the other side? Or during that walk? Did Kelsey German set you up on a trap? No, yes, no, yes, 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 she did. That's two out of three. And we have El Diablo. The first, so the answer is yes. She knew about this plan before she dropped the girls off. Okay, so what question do we want to follow up? So she knew 
when she dropped them off, what the, that there was something nefarious waiting for them. Is she one of those poor me victims like the last mother we just dealt with? Cards that, hold on, I'll explain that in a second. I'm just trying to think of what question to ask. So she knew. Okay, we got that. I'm, I'll write it down on our little list. Where's just my pen go? I might have to pause you guys. Sorry, up there. I just have to go grab a pen. Okay, so Kelsey German, I thought her last name was Germany. Kelsey German knew, so she's out of, she just became suspect number one. Well, you don't have to go to cop camp. I've said this before. You always start with the closest people and the last person to see them. She's not a suspect in this. I mean, I don't have a degree from cop camp, but seems suspicious. Oh, man. All right. So why would, like, why would she set her sister up? This, like, almost feels like these older boys were flirting with her or something. I don't know. All right. Was she ever even investigated? I need to do some more research, and I'm going to. But this is, like, the one time I can do this when the whole family's not around, so I just wanted to do it. So... Oh, another... Family member? Guys. Do we have any case after this one? Do we have any cases that don't involve family? Just kidding. I mean, I guess though, it, intimate partner relationships. I mean, it, I guess that's just the way it goes. All right. So I'm just going to tell you what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is oh, she made a decision. She did it. I mean, that card just jumped. It's the two of pentacles.
that cut weird. I'm gonna just reshuffle really fast. Um, my intentions are pure and I am seeking the truth. In the south, I ask Archangel Michael. In the south, in the west, I ask Isis and Kuan Yin. On the east, I ask the Magdalena clan, Jesse and Jesus. And on the north, Raziel and Raphael. Uriel, if you can be the bouncer and only allow in what I need to see to see the truth. I ask grandmothers of the universe to surround us in the sacred space and I ask for guidance. For anyone watching and for myself. Amen. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Oh, wait. I better make sure this is a recording. Hold on. And, like, one time I thought I was going to throw up. I mean, you're really good at these connections. I'm trying to figure out. Um, Hello, hello, welcome. Good afternoon. If you're new here, welcome. If you are coming back, welcome back. Thanks for coming. If you're in the bleachers, you are recording and ready to go. I, oh, please like, share, subscribe, do all the things. And so today, oh, thank you all so much for the comments. I, um, looked into, so today we're going to look into Kelsey's, who is slowly but surely creating herself her own nickname. If, if this becomes a trilogy, then that will be important. So far, suspect number one is, as far as we've gotten, or trash bucket two, or junior. So, one of the questions, and thank you so much, um, someone, thank you, answered Chase Wilbur, who, by the way, he's a hottie. He's pretty cute, I think. Sorry, Chase, if you're welcome watching. Um, so that was her boyfriend. I saw that his birthday is April 23rd, so he's an Aries. Aries are fire. Nailed it. I could be wrong. Because there's also a, a hockey player named Chase Wilbur. And so if I'm wrong on the birthday, or if anyone knows it, please let me know. I also saw from this comment, thank you again, Brianne Wilbur. This was Kelsey's best friend, brother. Her brother is Chase. She, this is just quick Google search. I was just looking for the birthday and I didn't find her birthday. I also stopped looking because I saw that she is in a sorority. Her sorority is Alpha Sigma Alpha. She's on Twitter. I screenshot it all so I can put it in the um, community notes if anyone would like to reference it or just wants to see it. Chase is also connected. I also screenshot this. This was on his Instagram page to Full Drawn Assassins. Hmm. And that is allegedly a hunting group of friends that enjoy their like-minded people. He also added that he was a Christian, which is 
This has nothing to do with Christianity or not Christians. This is not a place for those discussions. I'm just stating what I saw and found interesting. I So today, what we're going to do, since I've seen you guys, oh, channel updates. Since I've seen you guys, we got approved for membership. So that announcement will be going out probably as soon as you guys see this. I'll start working on that. The class, I want to start next week. I just need to check the notes in the community section for the date that works the best for everyone, the night of the week. I'd like to start it next Tuesday. And that way we can start working on it. And what we need to know, we'll have if we have anything. There is a person in here. I also started a Facebook page at the same time that I decided that I had to, <laughs> that my angels told me there was time to start this YouTube channel. And it's called Tarot Time. It's on Facebook. And I was creating it so that I could start putting resources there. And so if that's you, welcome. Thanks for coming. And um, I think if we all the people interested in taking the class go to that Facebook group. I've looked into Discord. I personally hate Discord only because the girls at Murda Murders, love them. They're the best. They used it and it was just not very user friendly. I supported them and I paid for it and I still can use it, but I just didn't like it. So that's something that we might work out the kinks. Um, so memberships are a go. The Facebook group Tarot Time is, it's, I literally just started it and started posting information that I have. Um, but I like the idea of beginners, intermediates, even if you're an expert, you can still learn. Um, we can always learn. That would be a good spot to have our class because for this first round, I want to make sure it's easy, accessible, and free. After that, then... I'll probably put it on my website and people can pay for it, but that's not for us. Um, the tarot time. I had someone ask anytime that you're looking for a healing or any energy work, my website, moonshineshop.com. Oh, wait, it's moonshine shop moonshine shop.com. You can book everything right there. I, um, if you're from YouTube, you can put in the code 20 per, and save 20%. The YouTube, just the word YouTube is the code. I think that's it for our updates as of right now. And so today we are jumping in back into, oh, one last thing. <laughs> While we were off, I had a lot going on and I'll explain it all someday. It doesn't, doesn't feel right yet. I found a J.J. Vallow reading that I had done. It was an energy work reading. I was using cards for the first time to channel. I had always just channeled without cards, but, and so I tapped back into anyone affected who's on the other side by Lori or her loser boyfriend, husband, whatever it was, Chad, Day Bob. That energy is so dark and dark, dark magic. I did it and it was just, I haven't posted it because I got all the same stuff that we already know. He's a loser. She's a loser. It was just really like, um, and the two people that I would recommend if you're interested in that case is the psychic Reverend Donna Serfina and hidden true crime, Dr. John. Oh, I absolutely love Dr. John. He's so easy to listen to. I could listen to him all day. I, um, recommend those two. And I didn't post it because to me, it was like, but Doc, um, Reverend Safina, or I'm sorry, Psychic Reverend Donna Safina, she has the same kind of calendar that we've been talking about connected to Tylee and JJ. So we are going to jump back into Kelsey. Thank you all so much for the links and the stories. I looked at one of them. This is just a specific one. And I liked the girl's style. She was totally fine. What I didn't like was that it contradicted. It said like, 
Richard Allen definitely did it. Then it said he didn't. Then it said he did, which I get. I get that, especially if you're looking at it. Um, but the next thing was I looked at all the other um, links. Thank you. And what I was getting, because now I'm meditating three times a day for three minutes. If anyone wants to jump on board, it's part of the gene key. That's the human design. Um, there's a program with it. And it's to work on all of your shadows, shadow sides. So it's kind of a structured way. It's free. Well, I don't know if it's free, but I have the book and stuff. If anyone wants to do it with me, we could do it on here. But the point is, for three minutes, three times a day, you pause. And that's it. You just meditate or you do something. So because this is becoming a back to regular scheduled programming, I um, was meditating. And what I was getting was that all of the information isn't what we need right now. It's just focusing really on the girls, Abby and Libby, that's the girls, the Kelsey situation. Oh, and her, the boy that I kept picking up. I mean, he's a cutie pie. Maybe he wasn't cute then. Maybe he's a trash bucket. I don't know yet, but I just thought he was cute. Um, the Wilbur siblings. So we'll be working on those today. The um, box seats, you guys should be all set. I didn't post the last one because I got a new phone and there wasn't enough storage on it or something. So it deleted the card version. So you guys should be all set this time. And from there, we'll just get this going. I, I don't know what cards we're gonna use yet, but I'm gonna put these right here just so you guys know. If I need to pause, I'm not pausing the bleachers, so either we need to, you can fast forward it or I can edit it out. But the last time I did that, I forgot to bring you guys back in, so I don't want to do that. We're going to use the beginner deck. I don't know who it is that's connected to this case or feels if it's helping. I don't know, but I just got that. We have our regular decks right here, too, if we need them. And the way that we left off with Kelsey the last time we tapped into Kelsey was she went to the bridge knowing something nefarious was going to happen. So let's pick up back up with Kelsey. There was a lot of arguing on Reddit. And, you know, I'm not really a fan of it. I think it's just a waste of everyone's time because it's really just opinions. But... So I kind of got bored of looking at it. The main thing was, though, that there's a whole subreddit for this boyfriend. And again, I didn't read into it because it was arguing and people were... The thing about arguing, I love arguing. If we had a debate team, I would have totally been on it. What I don't like is personal attacks or anything that's like below the belt. Because I just... It's just not how I am. So... We are going to tap in to, let's, let's just look into Chase, see what his story is, and then go from there. So Chase Wilbur, his, this is the birthday that I got. It was April 23rd, so he's an Aries, he's a fire sign, um, was the boyfriend at the time. It looks to me like Kelsey's still friends with the sisters. If you go to Twitter, the sisters is Brianne Wilbur, at Brianne Wilbur. Um, there's pictures. It, they looked pretty recent to me. So let's just tap into Chase because he's the cute one. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> if you're up there, the Wheel of Fortune just jumped and I hadn't even asked. I guess I did ask. Let's tap into Chase. So I'm going to set this here. Um, all right, Chase, let's just check in, see where you are. Oh, that was a weird cut, just a second. So the underlying energy, that's the one that jumped. That's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Then we have 
our happy home card. The happy home is in reverse. So he might have like a little bit of a dysfunctional family too. Um, we have the four of wands in reverse. Oh, great. We have the eight of cups in reverse. Two of wands. Yeah, this is definitely him. Wow. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we also have, oh, and if you're new up there, thank you so much for um, liking and watching it with the card view. I appreciate it. If you, I don't read these cards in a set way. So I don't have always pull five, always pull 20. Unless I'm doing something like a Celtic cross, I pull however many cards intuitively feel right, and then I read on it. So if you're a stickler for numbers or you are taught a different way, then don't worry about it. This is just what works for me. Um, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse, if you're spinning a wheel and you're at a casino, this is bad luck, bad decision. There's no real good outcome. There's like breaking the cycles. It can be a negative phase. We also have judgment. <laughs> but that's not the best part. Don't worry. Um, we have here one, two, three, four wands cards. Oh, nice hair. Sorry. Um, we have a cup in reverse, we have a pentacle in reverse, and we have the big guy, El Diablo. El Diablo can mean a number of things. It can mean addiction, he's a Capricorn. I'm also a Capricorn. He, I always used to make a joke that he liked cold things because it's a December birthday, or December or January. I'm January, just Capricorn, so. Um, he could be hard to date. Let's just say this is like addictive. It's your shadow side. That's the nicest thing that we can say. El Diablo is right next to our Empress. Oh boy. Okay. I don't know what his mother is like. I don't know what his family life is like. He might have an overbearing mom. He might report to a woman. Um, pentacles in reverse, never a good thing. You never want to see your pentacles in reverse. That means you're losing money. You're losing your pentacles. Let's start with the wands. Oh, and we have temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse is like, yeah, this kid's definitely struggling, I will say, with an addiction of some kind. Maybe because we just tapped in to see how he is. Temperance in reverse can be an alcoholism card. It can be like self-harm. Um, not in that way. No, take that back. It can, if you saw it in a regular reading, it would be like, where's your, where's your life center off? You know, if you're working in a job that doesn't make you happy. If you're in a marriage that doesn't make you happy, if you are being told you need to do something and you're ignoring it, in that it can be a healing journey in a personal reading. In the, this is, we're all, we're open to all interpretations. Cups in reverse can be an addiction card, alcoholism. Um, these three, oh, I'm sorry, four wands. He's a fire sign, so he's an Aries. We have two, three, four, right in a row. If we played poker, two, three, four. Um, I don't know. He's definitely thinking about traveling. He's in a transition, maybe his home, maybe he's moving. Maybe he feels like alone in the world. Oh. Um, Page of Swords, that was Frat Row. The pages are the messengers. They deliver messages. 
Um, it's also, it's like a smart card. Swords are smart. They're like your fruit mind. You know, your communication. So I think this is just telling us like, this kid's made some bad decisions. He's a fire sign. He works, something's going on with El, El, El Diablo. All right, let's get some clarity on, he might be traveling, he might be in college. I, I think he's older, way older than college level though. Um, the questionable cards for me at this exact moment are the Page of Swords, El Diablo, and the Empress. We got those in the last case that we did. And what it was telling me was that it was run, the organization as a whole was run by a woman. El Diablo speaks for himself on when we're talking about life ending stuff. To me, El Diablo is like, it's not good. Then we have Temperance in Reverse, Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, The Wheels. This is what Ethan always showed as himself. It's a circle. Judgment. And so what I want to do is get, I mean, the Cups and the Pentacles in Reverse. I want to look at these. Um, El Diablo, the Empress, and the Page of Swords. Oh, the Hierophants in reverse. Hmm. The Hierophant is, it can be a Catholic church. It could be um, any entity that's like, I always think of Prince Charles when I think of the Hierophant in reverse, or the Hierophant in general. In the last case, it represented our, um, the government, the U.S. government. And it was, but in reverse, and for saying he's a Christian, he hasn't gotten one Christian card on here. Hmm. So we are just going to ask for some clarification on the page, El Diablo, and the Empress. The Nine of Pentacles. The star. All right, we nailed it. The star. Oh, death. Okay. We're on the right track. I'm going to clear... I'm going to explain this before I clear if you're up in the balcony. So the Page of Swords, the Emperor and the Empress in our last case came together a lot and showed us the organization. The Nine of Pentacles is telling me that someone's doing this as a job. It's not a complete job. It's in the process. Nines are not completion. It's like you have one more step until the XYZ is done, whatever it is if you're in the process of change of some kind. We have the star in reverse. This came up a lot in the last case as well um, for putting someone's star out. So somebody put the girl's star out. We have death in reverse. Death in general in the real world, not with these cases, means um, change. In reverse, it means no change. I have been lead it, reading it very literally because we are dealing with the unaliving of the girls. I'm just going to call them the girls because that feels right. So what I asked for clarity on was the page of swords, the messenger, mouth, communication, um, email, voicemail, any electronic communication, any regular communication. He's fast. So this would tell me that this is electronic. El Diablo and the Empress. I asked for clarification on those guys. What I got was in the process, money, a star in reverse, that's a death, and death in reverse, that's no change. So we got that. So let's ask him what his relationship to El Diablo was. I might need to go grab a sweatshirt. I'm freezing. I turned the heat off because the energy that we work with is really 
Sometimes it gets hot, sometimes it gets cold. But let's just ask this kid, Chase, what... Let's ask a more specific question. Was he waiting at the bridge when Abby and Libby got there? I'm just gonna do an operate yes, reverses no. I'm gonna use the regular rider weight. Was Chase waiting at the bridge when Kelsey and mm, the girls got there? I'll do an upright yes, reversals now. If we need to read on it, we will. Yes, yes, no, no, no. That's a soft no. The two cards that we got, it's a soft no. The two cards that we got that were curious were the star in reverse and justice in reverse. So was Chase waiting at the bridge when the girls got there? Oh, oh and if you're up there, I some cards are jumping. I'm not re doing a reading, so I'm just putting them back in. No, yes, no, yes, no. Okay, so that's a no, that's okay. What I wanna ask then is, did he have anything to do with what happened to the girls? Did Chase have anything to do with what happened to the girls? Yes, no, yes, no, no. Soft, no. Oh. Hmm. We'll do it one more, two out of three. Oh, okay, one more. Did Chase have anything to do with what happened to the girls? No, no, yes, no, yes. Okay, so we didn't have anything to do with it and he wasn't there. This might be the way I'm asking it, but actually I'm good. I have to pause you guys, I'm freezing. I'm gonna go grab a sweatshirt, just a second. Don't worry, balcony, I'm not pausing you. All right, balcony, we're going back. Okay, just grab the sweatshirt. I'll switch back to the regular, or the beginner cards. Um, one of the questions was, was one of the girls pregnant? Oh, so we are gonna just do an upright yes, reversals no. I'll ask Libby first, Abby second. Was Libby pregnant? Uh, 
up right yes reversals now is Libby pregnant no 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 yes mm, I'd say that was a hard no we can do two out of three but that was pretty hard no No, 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 yes, yeah, no, nope. Libby wasn't. So let's check on Abby. For the bleachers, we're doing upright yes, reversals no, five cards, and best two out of three. So if they jump, I'm not going to read them. I'm just going to put them back in. Is Abby pregnant? Yes, no, yes, yes. No. That's a soft no. Yes, 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 yes. Whoa. And these are, so yes, I'm going to write that on our list. Abby was pregnant. And the cards that we got were... Fighting, the sun, temperance, the devil, and the magician. Okay. Was... Those are per pretty big major arcana cards. Before I do this reading, I just want to see... I want to do a reading on that. And I also just want to see if this kid Chase was the dad. I also, I'm going to write down the questions that I'm thinking of. Okay. The next one, and then I'm going to do a reading on it. I'm going to switch back to the... Actually, let's just see if Chase was the dad. Or the father of the... No, but yes, no, no, yes. So that's a soft no. Wasn't he, oh, let's just see. Was Chase the dad? Yes, no, yes, no, no. Okay, he wasn't. Let's go back into this Abby pregnant thing. I'm gonna switch for the balcony. I'm gonna switch back to the training cards. If they're easier, actually, I'm just gonna stick to right away for right now.
I'm gonna ask one more yes now. Why one of the questions that I saw or comments in the co you know in the section in the comment section was this was a known meth area. So why would two 14 year olds want to go down there? Unless Abby's parents come out and say it, nothing that the other family says means anything to me. So if, please, you don't have to comment on it or you don't even have to put it in there. I'm not gonna look at anything. They say they all haven't been cleared and there's a rabbit hole we can go down and I'm sure we will, but at this exact moment, unless they've been cleared by the police and the police did a pretty, you know, my opinion, but the point is we're just gonna ask why did the girls want to go down to the bridge? Yes, no, yes, yes, no. It's a soft yes. One more. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. So the answer is yes. It's a soft yes. Why did they think they were going down there? Okay, we just had a bunch of jumpers. First jumper that we had was the Hierophant in reverse. And the party pentacles. So I haven't even cut it yet. Okay. So the Hierophant in reverse. Well, I'll pray it's like the Catholic Church. It could be like an evangelical. Oh man, and we have the wheel and the Knight of Swords. Um, it could be. Oh, here's our pregnancy card. Okay, and judgment and temperance. Okay. So the question that we just asked was, did the girls want to go to that bridge? The Hierophant in reverse is, in my experience or training or whatever, it's like an organization, a church head. So Prince Charles or King Charles in reverse you don't want, that's what's happened to that Catholic church, in my personal opinion, is like the sweep they did in New England. My whole family had to go and talk about that. It was horrible. Um, we have the three of cups. This is in reverse. This was the party that Ethan always showed us. We also got the Wheel of Fortune. Ethan showed us that too. Knight of Swords, Frat Row. This was Can't Sleep, So Stressed Out. I mean, maybe these little girls were going to, maybe they were dabbling in something like party favors of some kind. I mean, at 14, I tried to tell I, 
in my, my garage or in my friend's garage or somehow we tried it. But it was what I'm seeing here is like an ambush. They were like ambushed. I want more details though about that day. Like, because I think what that'll tell us is that it, On the Norse calendar, this isn't a day of significance. The 13th, I think, was the day that they died. Yeah. The 13th was the day. The 17th was an actual holiday day. But usually when you're working with the moon, anything on first three, the three days before and the three days after. All right. I'm gonna light some sage. I just lit some sage, cleared the energy. Let's go through this day. Let's do Kelsey's day. Kelsey. you're in the balcony, the first time I read these, I got the feeling not to read them in reverse. These are the Game of Thrones cards, so I'm flipping them over. bucket. Woke up. Three people involved. We get this three. Um, someone put in the comments that it was, it could be this um, Brianna and Chase Wilbur as the three. Well, what does this card make you feel like? Heartbreak to me. I would say that her intentions are not pure. We have Vel Diablo. We have the Hermit, we have the Hierophant, and we have the Magician. We also have the Emperor, and we have Judgment, and the Tower, and the Sun. All of these are major Arcana cards. And the Chariot. Okay. So... So she woke up. El Diablo, the Chariot, the Tower, Judgment. The Emperor, in the last case, represented the dark side. The Hermit represented someone smarter than the D-bag. 
and the Hierophant represented the United States government. The magician, smoke and mirrors, judgment, and the sun. I'm going to put the sun, I mean, I'm sorry, the emperor and the hierophant at the top. Four of swords, dead little boy. King of spears, that's our king of wands. Knight of swords and knight of spears. Oh, wait. Knight of spears, king of spears. So our fire energies. Knight of swords and four of swords. The chariot, the devil. I think we got these cards the last time for her. Four of Swords in this deck, to me, is much more representative of what I see the Four of Swords as. I mean, we have a past, a priest or whatever talking over the dead man. I, I mean, same shit, different group of people. Let's ask about the little girls. Let's ask, like... I remember hearing that one of the girls had to work that afternoon. Let's do... Let's do... All of these decks feel fine. It's just super heavy energy. I'm going to use the... Art Nivero um, deck because I wanted to just see what the girls day was like. How did that morning start? What was the plan? What got off course? Cards were in reverse, but they jumped. I'll explain them in one second. There's our emperor. King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor. These cards jumped. I haven't even pulled them yet. Or done. I haven't cut them. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. We have the Four of Cups. In the other card, or in the other deck, this reminded me of the Internet. Even though Swords are an Internet card. Because there's a little, you can still see it on these. Um, there's a little cloud bringing a cup. And we have the Five of Swords. I saw in the comments that Louise's home life was a train wreck, but her grandmother and grandfather were raising her. You know what we need to do? This is the same characters. I want to look into this grandfather. I saw an interview. Everyone probably has their own opinion on the interview. But the card that I just got was the emperor. I wonder if the grandpa...
I'm gonna do upright yes reversals now. I'm just gonna ask if the grandpa is the emperor. If he is, then we'll do a reading. If he's not, then I'm gonna cross that off my list. Yes, no, 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 yes. Okay, that's a soft no. One more time, best two out of three. I'm not gonna read the jumpers if you're in the balcony because I'm just doing best two out of three. No, 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 okay. He wasn't, but you know what? I saw on Reddit or in the comments. Okay, so the, I'm gonna write that down. Okay, why don't we ask if the grandpa, if he wasn't the emperor, was he waiting at the bridge that day? Yes, 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 yes. And the, or no, I'm sorry. Those are hard yeses. We got death. So let's do this reading. The grandpa, for some reason, I don't trust the grandma either. I think that she might also not earn a nickname. The grandpa is giving me kind of vibes of like, I know more than I'm saying and you'll never find out. Like he's, I don't know. And so the cards that we just got, death, in this case is literal. Page of Pentacles, that's a little runner. He's getting paid to tell us things. He's not a fast page, but he's a page. We got the Eight of Swords again. This was, um, has always meant to me, no free will. Famous Fortunes re read it once as a spell casting. That is not off the table. King of Swords. So he could have been like a, a lieutenant in this hierarchy, not the emperor, but like a lieutenant. And then we have the overkill. It was in reverse, but still an overkill card, which I'm guessing is relevant. Um, so let's get some clarity. Well, swords, we have three swords here. So that's an air sign. So now the next person on our list is the grandpa. Birthday. Grandma. Okay. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say the grandpa is an air sign. So that could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Let's get some clarity on this King of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. It's getting paid by the direction of another woman. There's a lot of money involved in this. I'm feeling an equal balance of the sexes, like females and males. This could certainly be run by a male, but this, the females are right next to him. High Priestess in reverse is like our one saving grace. She's the ride or die. She will never tell your secrets. 
she'll help you bury a body and literally die with a secret. She's, you're right, you want her. By your side, she's a good, good friend. I mean, there's money, nefarious intentions, death. Let's say the grandpa's way more involved. I saw something that Trash Bucket Jr., Kelsey, was interviewed by the FBI seven times. I doubt it. Or if she was, then there were not, there was some corruption. And that's just me saying it. I don't feel like um, maybe the FBI needs to pull in a different branch because if the FBI has already gotten involved with these, um, I mean, like I've said before, you don't have to go to cop camp to know that you always start on the inside. If they interviewed Kelsey Seven, no way. I'm not even an FBI agent. And if I interviewed Kelsey once, she'd be so easy to jam up because she's so untruthful. We're going to switch to the, the Slavic Legends Tarot. So our next person of interest is this grandpa on the moon. That jumped if you're in the bleachers. I might pause you guys again and look for this birthday. I'm not gonna pause the bleachers. Or actually, I might just pause you and start you right back up so that the video will be shorter. Two jumpers were Five of Wands and the Knight of Swords. King, Six, Page, the Devil, the Magician, the Handman, Page of Cups. Yeah, there was like money. Um, I'm gonna pause you guys because it's at 28 minutes. I'm gonna pause the bleachers too, just for long enough to start it again. I'm gonna pause you actually and look up this grandpa's birthday. BRB. I call in all the angels, spirits, guides, and entities of the highest one to sleep. I ask you to protect me and the space. Please go before me and make my crooked places straight. I ask for the whitest light and the highest information. My intentions are pure and I, um, my intentions are pure and I am seeking the truth. In the South, I ask Archangel Michael in the, south, in the West, I ask Isis and Kuan Yin. On the East, I ask the Magdalena clan, Jesse and Jesus. And on the North, Raziel and Raphael. Uriel, if you can be the bouncer and only allow in what I need to see to see the truth. I ask grandmothers of the universe to surround us in the sacred space. And I ask for guidance for anyone watching and for myself. Amen. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Oh wait, I better make sure this is recording. Hold on. And like one time I thought I was gonna throw up. I mean, you're really good at these connections. I'm trying to figure out um, Hello, hello, welcome. Good afternoon. If you're new here, welcome. If you are coming back, welcome back. Thanks for coming. If you're in the bleachers, you are recording and ready to go. I, oh, please like, share, subscribe, do all the things. And so today, oh, thank you all so much for the comments. I, 
um, looked into, so today we're going to look into Kelsey's, who is slowly but surely creating herself her own nickname. If, if this becomes a trilogy, then that will be important. So far, suspect number one is as far as we've gotten or trash bucket two or junior. So one of the questions, and thank you so much, um, someone, thank you, answered Chase Wilbur, who, by the way, he's a hottie. He's pretty cute, I think. Sorry, Chase, if you're watching. Um, so that was her boyfriend. I saw that his birthday is April 23rd. So he's an Aries. Aries are fire. Nailed it. I could be wrong. Because there's also a, a hockey player named Chase Wilbur. And so if I'm wrong on the birthday, or if anyone knows it, please let me know. I also saw from this comment, thank you again, Brianne Wilbur. This was Kelsey's best friend, brother. Her brother is Chase. She, this is just a quick Google search. I was just looking for the birthday and I didn't find her birthday. I also stopped looking because I saw that she is in a sorority. Her sorority is Alpha Sigma Alpha. She's on Twitter. I screenshot it all so I can put it in the um, community notes if anyone would like to reference it or just wants to see it. Chase is also connected. I also screenshot this. This was on his Instagram page to Full Drawn Assassins. And that is allegedly a hunting group of friends that enjoy their like-minded people. He also added that he was a Christian, which is, this has nothing to do with Christianity or not Christians. This is not a place for those discussions. I'm just stating what I saw and found interesting. I, so today, what we're going to do, since I've seen you guys, oh, channel updates. Since I've seen you guys, we got approved for membership. So that announcement will be going out probably as soon as you guys see this. I'll start working on that. The class, I want to start next week. I just need to check the notes in the community section for the date that works the best for everyone, the night of the week. I'd like to start it next Tuesday, and that way we can start working on it. And what we need to know, we'll have if we have anything. There is a person in here. I also started a Facebook page at the same time that I decided that I had to, <laughs> that my angels told me there was time to start this YouTube channel. And it's called Tarot Time, it's on Facebook. And I was creating it so that I could start putting resources there. And so if that's you, welcome. Thanks for coming. And um, I think if we, all the people interested in taking the class, go to that Facebook group. I've looked into Discord. I personally hate Discord only because the girls at Murda Murders, love them. They're the best. They used it and it, it was just not very user friendly. I supported them and I paid for it and I still can use it, but I just didn't like it. So that's something that we might work out the kinks. Um, so memberships are a go. The Facebook group tarot time is it's, I literally just started it and started posting information that I have. Um, but I like the idea of beginners, intermediates, even if you're an expert, you can still learn. Um, we can always learn that would be a good spot to have our class because for this first round, I want to make sure it's easy, accessible, and free after that, then I'll probably put it on my website and people can pay for it, but that's not for us. Um, the Tarot time. I had someone ask anytime that you're looking for a healing or any energy work, my website, moonshineshop.com, 
Oh wait, it's moonshine shop dot moonshine dash shop dot com. You can book everything right there. I um if you're from YouTube, you can put in the code 20 per, and save 20%. The YouTube, just the word YouTube is the code. I think that's it for our updates as of right now. And so today we are jumping in back into, oh, one last thing. <laughs> While we were off, I had a lot going on and I'll explain it all someday. It doesn't, doesn't feel right yet. I found a JJ Vallow reading that I had done. It was an energy work reading. I was using cards for the first time to channel. I had always just channeled without cards, but, and so I tapped back into anyone affected who's on the other side by Lori or her loser boyfriend, husband, whatever it was, Chad, Dave, Bob. that energy is so dark and dark, dark magic. I did it and it was just, I haven't posted it because I've got all the same stuff that we already know. He's a loser. She's a loser. It was just really like, um, and the two people that I would recommend if you're interested in that case is the psychic Reverend Donna Serfina and hidden true crime, Dr. John. Oh, I absolutely love Dr. John. He's so easy to listen to. I could listen to him all day. I, um, recommend those two. And I didn't post it because to me, it was like, but Doc, um, Reverend Safina, or I'm sorry, Psychic Reverend Donna Safina, she has the same kind of calendar that we've been talking about connected to Tylee and JJ. So we're going to jump back into Kelsey. Thank you all so much for the links and the stories. I looked at one of them. This is just a specific one. And I liked the girl's style. She was totally fine. What I didn't like was that it contradicted. It said like Richard Allen definitely did it. Then it said he didn't. Then it said he did, which I get. I get that, especially if you're looking at it. Um, but the next thing was I looked at all the other um, links. Thank you. And what I was getting, because now I'm meditating three times a day for three minutes. If anyone wants to jump on board, it's part of the gene key. That's the human design. Um, there's a program with it and it's to work on all of your shadows, shadow sides. So it's kind of a structured way. It's free. Well, I don't know if it's free, but I have the book and stuff. If anyone wants to do it with me, we could do it on here. But the point is for three minutes, three times a day, you pause and that's it. You just meditate or you do something. So because this is becoming a back to regular scheduled programming, I um, was meditating. And what I was getting was that all of the information isn't what we need right now. It's just focusing really on the girls, Abby and Libby. That's the girls, the Kelsey situation. Oh, and her, the boy that I kept picking up. I mean, he's a cutie pie. Maybe he wasn't cute then. Maybe he's a trash bucket. I don't know yet, but I just thought he was cute. Um, the Wilbur siblings. So we'll be working on those today. The um, box seats, you guys should be all set. I didn't post the last one because I got a new phone and there wasn't enough storage on it or something. So it deleted the card version. So you guys should be all set this time. And... From there, we'll just get this going. I I don't know what cards we're going to use yet, but I'm going to put these right here just so you guys know. If I need to pause, I'm not pausing the bleachers, so either we need to, you can fast forward it or I can edit it out. But the last time I did that, I forgot to bring you guys back in, so I don't want to do that. We're going to use the beginner deck. I don't know who it is that's connected to this case or feels if it's helping. I don't know, but I just got that. We have our regular decks right here too, if we need them. And the way that we left off with Kelsey, the last time we tapped into Kelsey was she went to the bridge knowing something nefarious was going to happen. So let's pick up back up with Kelsey. There was a lot of arguing on Reddit 
And, you know, I'm not really a fan of it. I think it's just a waste of everyone's time because it's really just opinions. But so I kind of got bored of looking at it. The main thing was, though, that there's a whole subreddit for this boyfriend. And again, I didn't read into it because it was arguing and people were... The thing about arguing, I love arguing. If we had a debate team, I would have totally been on it. What I don't like is personal attacks or anything that's like below the belt. Because I just, it's just not how I am. So we are going to tap in to, let's, let's just look into Chase. See what his story is and then go from there. So Chase Wilbur, his this is the birthday that I got. It was April 23rd. So he's an Aries. He's a fire sign. Um, was the boyfriend at the time. It looks to me like Kelsey's still friends with the sisters. If you go to Twitter, the sisters is Brianne Wilbur at Brianne Wilbur. Um, there's pictures. It, they looked pretty recent to me. So let's just tap into Chase because he's the cute one. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> If you're up there, the Wheel of Fortune just jumped and I hadn't even asked. I guess I did ask. Let's tap into Chase. So I'm going to set this here. Um, all right, Chase. Let's just check in, see where you are. Oh, that was a weird cut. Just a second. So the underlying energy, that's the one that jumped. That's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Then we have our Happy Home card. The Happy Home is in reverse. So he might have like a little bit of a dysfunctional family too. Um, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. Oh, great. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Two of Wands. Yeah, this is definitely him. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we also have... Oh, and if you're new up there, thank you so much for um, liking and watching it with the card view. I appreciate it. If you, I don't read these cards in a set way. So I don't have always pull five, always pull 20. Unless I'm doing something like a Celtic cross, I pull however many cards intuitively feel right. And then I read on it. So if you're a stickler for numbers or you are taught a different way, then don't worry about it. This is just what works for me. Um, so we have the wheel of fortune in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse, if you're spinning a wheel and you're at a casino, this is bad luck, bad decision. There's no real good outcome. There's like breaking the cycles. It can be a negative phase. We also have judgment. <laughs> but that's not the best part. Don't worry. Um, we have here one, two, three. Four wands cards. Oh, nice hair. Sorry. Um, we have a cup in reverse. We have a pentacle in reverse. And we have the big guy, El Diablo. El Diablo can mean a number of things. It can mean addiction. He's a Capricorn. I'm also a Capricorn. He, I always used to make a joke that he liked cold things. Because it's a December birthday or December or January. I'm January just Capricorn, so um he could be hard to date. Let's just say this is like addictive. It's your shadow side. That's the nicest thing that we can say. El Diablo is right next to our Empress. Oh boy. Okay. 
I don't know what his mother is like. I don't know what his family life is like. He might have an overbearing mom. He might report to a woman. Um, pentacles in reverse, never a good thing. You never want to see your pentacles in reverse. That means you're losing money. You're losing your pentacles. Let's start with the wands. Oh, and we have temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse is like, yeah, this kid's definitely struggling, I will say, with an addiction of some kind. Maybe because we just tapped in to see how he is. Temperance in reverse can be an alcoholism card. It can be like self-harm. Um, not in that way. No, take that back. It can, if you saw it in a regular reading, it would be like, where's your, where's your life center off? You know, if you're working in a job that doesn't make you happy, if you're in a marriage that doesn't make you happy, if you are being told you need to do something and you're ignoring it, in that it can be a healing journey in a personal reading. In the, this is, we're all, we're open to all interpretations. Cups in reverse can be an addiction card, alcoholism. Um, these three, oh, I'm sorry, four wands. He's a fire sign, so he's an Aries. We have two, three, four, right in a row. If we played poker, two, three, four. Um, He's definitely thinking about traveling. He's in a transition, maybe his home, maybe he's moving. Maybe he feels like alone in the world. Oh. Um, Page of Swords, that was Frat Row. The pages are the messengers, they deliver messages. Um, It's also, it's like a smart card. Swords are smart. They're like your throat, mind. You know, your communication. So I think this is just telling us like, this kid's made some bad decisions. He's a fire sign. He works, something's going on with El, El, El Diablo. All right, let's get some clarity on, he might be traveling, he might be in college. I, I think he's older, way older than college level though. Um, the questionable cards for me at this exact moment are the Page of Swords, El Diablo, and the Empress. We got those in the last case that we did. And what it was telling me was that it was run, the organization as a whole was run by a woman. El Diablo speaks for himself on when we're talking about life ending stuff. To me, El Diablo is like... It's not good. Then we have temperance in reverse, wheel of fortune in reverse, the wheels. This is what Ethan always showed as himself. It's a circle. Judgment. And so what I want to do is get, I mean, the cups and the pentacles in reverse. I want to look at these. Um, El Diablo, the Empress, and the Page of Swords. Oh, the Hierophants in reverse. Hmm. The Hierophant is, it can be a Catholic church. It could be um, any entity that's like, I always think of Prince Charles when I think of the Hierophant in reverse, or the Hierophant in general. In the last case, it represented our, um, the government, the U.S. government. And it was, but in reverse, and for saying he's a Christian, he hasn't gotten one Christian card on here. So we are just going to ask for some clarification on the page, El Diablo, and the Empress.
The Nine of Pentacles. Star. All right, we nailed it. The star. Oh, death. Okay. We're on the right track. I'm going to clear. I'm going to explain this before I clear if you're up in the balcony. So the Page of Swords, the Emperor, and the Empress in our last case came together a lot and showed us the organization. The Nine of Pentacles is telling me that someone's doing this as a job. It's not a complete job. It's in the process. Nines are not completion. It's like you have one more step until the XYZ is done, whatever it is. If you're in the process of change of some kind. We have the star in reverse. This came up a lot in the last case as well um, for putting someone's star out. So somebody put the girl's star out. We have death in reverse. Death in general in the real world, not with these cases, means um, change. In reverse, it means no change. I have been lead it, reading it very literally because we are dealing with the unaliving of the girls. I'm just going to call them the girls because that feels right. So what I asked for clarity on was the page of swords, the messenger, mouth, communication, um, email, voicemail, any electronic communication, any regular communication. He's fast. So this would tell me that this is electronic. El Diablo and the Empress. I asked for clarification on those guys. What I got was in the process, money, a star in reverse, that's a death, and death in reverse, that's no change. So we got that. So let's ask him what his relationship to El Diablo was. I might need to go grab a sweatshirt. I'm freezing. I turned the heat off because the energy that we work with is really, sometimes it gets hot, sometimes it gets cold. But let's just ask this kid, Chase, what, let's ask a more specific question. Was he waiting at the bridge when Abby and Libby got there? I'm just gonna do an upright yes, reverses no. I'm going to use the regular rider weight. Was Chase waiting at the bridge when Kelsey and mm, the girls got there? I'll do an upright yes, reversals now. If we need to read on it, we will. Yes, yes, no, no, no. That's a soft no. The two cards that we got, it's a soft no. The two cards that we got that were curious were the star in reverse and justice in reverse. So was Chase waiting at the bridge when the girls got there? Oh, and if you're up there, I some cards are jumping. I'm not re doing a reading, so I'm just putting them back in. No, yes, no, yes, no. Okay, so that's a no. That's okay. What I want to ask then is, did he have anything to do with what happened to the girls? Did Chase have anything to do with what happened to the girls? Yes, no, yes, no, no. Soft, no. Oh. Hmm. We'll do it one more, two out of three. Oh, okay, one more. Did Chase have anything to do with what happened to the girls? Oh, that cut weird. No, no, yes, no, yes. 
Okay, so we didn't have anything to do with it and it wasn't there. This might be the way I'm asking it, but actually I'm good. I have to pause you guys. I'm freezing. I'm going to go grab a sweatshirt. Just a second. Don't worry, balcony. I'm not pausing you. All right, balcony, we're going back. Okay, just grab the sweatshirt. I'll switch back to the regular, or the beginner cards. Um, one of the questions was, was one of the girls pregnant? Oh, so we are gonna just do an upright yes, reversals no. I'll ask Libby first, Abby second. Was Libby pregnant? Right, yes, reversals now. Is Libby pregnant? No, 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 yes. Mm, I'd say that was a hard no. We can do two out of three, but that was pretty hard no. No, 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 yes, yeah, no, nope. Libby wasn't. So let's check on Abby. So for the bleaker, bleachers, we're doing upright yes, reversals no five cards and best two out of three. So if they jump, I'm not gonna read them. I'm just going to put them back in. Is Abby pregnant? Yes, no, yes, yes. No, that's a soft no. Yes, 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 yes. Whoa. And these are, so yes, I'm going to write that on our list. Abby was pregnant. And the cards that we got Fighting, the sun, temperance, the devil, and the magician. Okay. Was those are pretty big major arcana cards. 
before I do this reading, I just want to see, I want to do a reading on that. And I also just want to see if this kid Chase was the dad. I also, I'm going to write down the questions that I'm thinking of. Okay, the next one, and then I'm going to do a reading on it. I'm going to switch back to the... Actually, let's just see if Chase was the dad. Or the father of the... No, yes, no, no, yes. So that's a soft no. Wasn't he, oh, let's just see. Was Chase the dad? Yes, no, yes, no, no. Okay, he wasn't. Let's go back into this Abby pregnant thing. I'm gonna switch for the balcony. I'm gonna switch back to the training cards. If they're easier, actually, I'm just gonna stick to right away for right now. I'm gonna ask one more yes now. Why one of the questions that I saw or comments in the co you know in the section in the comment section was this was a known meth area. So why would two 14 year olds wanna go down there? Unless Abby's parents come out and say it, nothing that the other family says means anything to me. So if please, you don't have to comment on it or you don't even have to put it in there. I'm not gonna look at anything. They say they all haven't been cleared and there's a rabbit hole we can go down and I'm sure we will, but at this exact moment, unless they've been cleared by the police and the police did a pretty, you know, my opinion, but the point is, we're just going to ask why did the girls want to go down to the bridge? Yes, no, yes, yes, no. It's a soft yes. One more. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. So the answer is yes. It's a soft yes. Why did they think they were going down there? Okay, we just had a bunch of jumpers. First jumper that we had was the Hierophant in reverse. And the party pentacles. So I haven't even cut it yet. Okay. 
So the Hierophant in reverse. Well, upright, it's like the Catholic Church. It could be like an evangelical. Oh, man, and we have the wheel and the Knight of Swords. Um, it could be. Oh, here's our pregnancy card. Okay, and judgment and temperance. Okay. So the question that we just asked was, did the girls want to go to that bridge? The Hierophant in reverse is, in my experience or training or whatever, it's like an organization, a church head. So Prince Charles or King Charles in reverse. You don't want, that's what's happened to that Catholic church in my personal opinion is like the sweep they did in New England. My whole family had to go and talk about that. It was horrible. Um, we have the three of cups. This is in reverse. This was the party that Ethan always showed us. We also got the Wheel of Fortune. Ethan showed us that too. Knight of Swords, Frat Row. This was Can't Sleep, So Stressed Out. I mean, maybe these little girls were going to, maybe they were dabbling in something like party favors of some kind. I mean, at 14, I tried pellet in my garage or in my friend's garage or somehow we tried it. But it was, what I'm seeing here is like an ambush. They were like ambushed. I want more details though about that day. Like, because I think what that'll tell us is that it, on the Norse calendar, this isn't a day of significance. The 13th, I think was the day that they died. Yeah, the 13th was the day the 17th was an actual holiday day. But usually when you're working with the moon, anything on the first three, the three days before and the three days after. All right. I'm gonna light some sage. Okay, I just lit some sage, cleared the energy. Let's go through this day. Let's do Kelsey's day. Kelsey.
if you're in the balcony, the first time I read these, I got the feeling not to read them in reverse. These are the Game of Thrones cards, so I'm flipping them over. All right, so this trash bucket woke up, three people involved, we get this three. Um, someone put it in the comments that it was, it could be this um, Brianna and Chase Wilbur as the three. Well, what does this card make you feel like? Heartbreak, to me. I would say that her intentions are not pure. We have El Diablo, we have the Hermit, we have the Hierophant, and we have the Magician. We also have the Emperor, and we have Judgment, and the Tower, and the Sun. All of these are major Arcana cards. And the Chariot. Okay. So... So she woke up. El Diablo, the Chariot, the Tower, Judgment. The Emperor in the last case represented the dark side. The Hermit represented someone smarter than the D-bag. And the Hierophant represented the United States government. The Magician, Smoke and Mirrors, Judgment, and the Sun. I'm going to put the sun, I mean, I'm sorry, the emperor and the hierophant at the top. Four of swords, dead little boy. King of spears, that's our king of wands. Knight of swords and knight of spears. Oh, wait. Knight of spears, king of spears. These are fire energies. Knight of swords and four of swords. The chariot, the devil. I think we got these cards the last time for Four of Swords in this deck, to me, is much more representative of what I see the Four of Swords as. I mean, we have a past, a priest or whatever talking over the dead man. I, I mean, same shit, different group of people. Let's ask about the little girls. Let's ask, like... I remember hearing that one of the girls had to work that afternoon. Let's do... Let's do... All of these decks feel fine. It's just super heavy energy. I'm going to use the... Art and Vero um, deck because I wanted to just see what the girls' day was like. How did that morning start? What was the plan? What got off course? These 
the cards were in reverse, but they jumped. I'll explain them in one second. There's our emperor. King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor. These cards jumped. I haven't even pulled them yet. Or done. I haven't cut them. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. We have the Four of Cups. In the other card, or in the other deck, this reminded me of the internet. Even though swords are an internet card. Because there's a little, you can still see it on these. Um, there's a little cloud bringing a cup. And we have the Five of Swords. I saw in the comments that Louise's home life was a train wreck, but her grandmother and grandfather were raising her. You know what we need to do? This is the same characters. I want to look into this grandfather. I saw an interview. Everyone probably has their own opinion on the interview. But the card that I just got was the emperor. I wonder if the grandpa... I'm gonna do upright yes reversals now. I'm just gonna ask if the grandpa is the emperor. If he is, then we'll do a reading. If he's not, then I'm gonna cross that off my list. Yes, no, 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 yes. Okay, that's a soft no. One more time, best two out of three. I'm not going to read the jumpers if you're in the balcony because I'm just doing best two out of three. No, 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 no. Okay. He wasn't, but you know what? I saw on Reddit or in the comments. Okay, so the, I'm going to write that down. Okay, why don't we ask if the grandpa, if he wasn't the emperor, was he waiting at the bridge that day? Yes, 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 yes. And the, or no, I'm sorry. Those are hard yeses. We got death. So let's do this reading. The grandpa, for some reason, I don't trust the grandma either. I think that she might also not earn a nickname. The grandpa is giving me kind of vibes of like, I know more than I'm saying and you'll never find out. Like he's, I don't know. And so the cards that we just got, death, in this case is literal. Page of Pentacles, that's a little runner. He's getting paid to tell us things. He's not a fast page, but he's a page. Oh, we got the Eight of Swords again. This was, um, has always meant to me, no free will. Famous Fortunes re read it once as a spell casting. That is not off the table. King of Swords. So he could have been like a... a lieutenant 
in this hierarchy, not the emperor, but like a lieutenant. And then we have the overkill. It was in reverse, but still an overkill card, which I'm guessing is relevant. Um, so let's get some clarity. Well, swords, we have three swords here. So that's an air sign. So now the next person on our list is the grandpa. Birthday. Grandma. Okay. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say the grandpa is an air sign. So that could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Let's get some clarity on this King of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. It's getting paid by the direction of another woman. There's a lot of money involved in this. I'm feeling an equal balance of the sexes, like females and males. This could certainly be run by a male, but this, the females are right next to him. High Priestess in reverse is like our one saving grace. She's the ride or die. She will never tell your secrets. She'll help you bury a body and literally die with a secret. She's your right. You want her by your side. She's a good, good friend. I mean, there's money, nefarious intentions, death. Let's say the grandpa's way more involved. I saw something that Trash Bucket Jr. Kelsey was interviewed by the FBI seven times. I doubt it. Or if she was, then there were not, there was some corruption. And that's just me saying it. I don't feel like um, maybe the FBI needs to pull in a different branch because if the FBI has already gotten involved with these, um, I mean, like I've said before, you don't have to go to cop camp to know that you always start on the inside. If they interviewed Kelsey Seven, no way. I'm not even an FBI agent. And if I interviewed Kelsey once, she'd be so easy to jam up because she's so untruthful. We're going to switch to the, Slav the Slavic Legends Tarot. So our next person of interest is this grandpa on the moon. That jumped, if you're in the bleachers. I might pause you guys again and look for this birthday. I'm not gonna pause the bleachers. Or actually, I might just pause you and start you right back up so that the video will be shorter. Two jumpers were Five of Wands and the Knight of Swords. King, Six, Page, the Devil, the Magician, the Handman, Page of Cups. Yeah, there was like money. Um, I'm gonna pause you guys because it's at 28 minutes. I'm going to pause the bleachers too, just for long enough to start it again. I'm going to pause you actually and look up this grandpa's birthday. BRB.
Hello, balcony. We're just getting started. Oh man, this little table. I got you guys a new, the plant needed a bigger home. Hopefully you can see it. All right. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Kate. If you're coming back, welcome back. Thanks for coming. Today, I just did a recording. Oh, we, uh, I updated, I started the memberships right before I came on here. So you'll notice that the first 10 people that sign up for the membership, I want to schedule a live with you guys, the first 10, to do kind of work out the kinks. I need a point person for lives. So if you're a member, then the first 10 people, if anyone wants to be my point person, one of my, my best girlfriend does it for me now. Sometimes when I have groups or other things, she mutes and then I ask questions like, does anyone know his birthday? And she'll Google it for me and then she just sends me a text. So we don't talk. I just am talking out loud as I'm processing it. And for our class that starts next Tuesday, so excited. You guys, your enthusiasm is so fun. I know there are at least two of, you guys, of us that aren't on Facebook. No problem. I just did an Insta Live, forgetting that Insta is connected to Facebook, thinking, oh, that's okay, we'll go to Insta. And they, I have a Zoom. I don't know if I still have the professional one. I'm stepping out of corporate. It's not really going as slowly and smoothly as I thought, but here we are. And I don't know if my Zoom is still a professional account. And for the person who's so kind and wondering why my hands are bright red, it's because I turned the heat off and I just had to turn it back on. I was too cold. So there, my hands are absolutely freezing. I, the memberships are live. The perks of being a member are, I'm going to write you back. <laughs> Good news. Good old boys. I don't have to write. And if you're not a member and you jumped in in the middle of Idaho 4 and you don't know what's going on, I'm sorry, but the directions are very clear. Or just join us and I'll write you back. The first 10 people that join the memberships are, we're going to do a live either, probably by the time I post this and you see it, it'll be tomorrow. So I'd like to do it either tomorrow night or Friday. And I don't need all 10 of you. It'd be nice though. And we can do like a collective. I could do reading on you guys or whatever. But what I really just need to do is figure out the details of who wants to be my right hand man. I don't talk to you that much, but you become clutch when we're in the middle of a reading. Oh yeah. And if anyone wants to be like an admin for the Facebook or here, let me know. It's going to be a first come first serve and the, the um, qualifications, you have to be nice and respectful and not dumb. Those are the only rules. And then the next thing is Tuesday night class. We'll figure out the link for the ladies or the people not on Facebook. No problem. Memberships are live. I did make an Ethan, Justice for Ethan. It looks like a whiskey label. I, I'm a graphic designer. So it's, it looks like an old whiskey label and it says Ethan's name. And I really do want to get like a zip up hoodie like this. Just put it right here. Especially watching these dominoes fall. Oh, it's going to be so awesome. So those are my updates. I just did a quick reading on D bag. Good news is, is the mom's going down before the D bag is. <laughs> And I'm here for it. Somebody in the comments just asked if I was getting a brother energy for Ethan. Yes, I was. It was in the beginning of this case, of that case. And I got it, but it felt like a older brother or an uncle or a cousin or something. He, and then I was on Reddit and I saw that the brother shut down the subreddit for justice for Ethan. Not weird. Not weird at all. I'm letting some sage because we're going to transition from D-bag into the girls. I want to go back into the Libby thing. I want to talk to Libby some more, figure out what we need to know. The recap for where we stand now with Delphi is... I will... Okay. 
This is the Delphi. So we're on Delphi six or seven, sorry, seven. I also, the two hour reading that I broke into three parts. Sorry if that was confusing. I couldn't, after I did the balcony, hi ladies and gentlemen up there. I hope you guys are liking the view. After I did the balconies, uploaded theirs, it took forever. And so I broke up the face-to-face -face one into three sections so I could at least get it up. And I can put up the long one, numbers one. So this is where we left off. Brianne Wilbur, Kelsey's bestie, still besties. I didn't really feel her energy at all, but she's all over Kelsey's stuff today. She's in a sorority, Alpha Sigma Alpha. She's also on Twitter at Brianne Wilbur. Chase Wilbur, he's the hottie. I mean, it's all relative when you're dealing with criminals, but still. It's the best that we've got. Um, Chase Wilbur, he has become our Knight of Wands. He's a Wands energy, I think. I didn't see anything different, so I'm going to go with that. He's a fire sign. Um, perhaps Kelsey's boyfriend. Oh, you can... <laughs> the sage is blowing right on to you guys. Good. Sorry about that. All right. Um, he's a Christian. And he's also associated with full, full drawn assassins. That's a outdoorsy group that likes to get together and like-minded folk. They're also a cover in my personal opinion, no facts here. Please get your, do your own research. I, uh, I'm just reading a deck of cards. No facts here. Um, and Chase, if you're watching this and I'm seeing things wrong, please let me know. I did see that Full Drawn Assassins is the cover for perhaps a money moving organization or something. The good news is, is when I was hearing about these two cases from the outside before I started really looking into it, other than this connection with the cartel that these are all, oh, the prison connections that they have. That is still less than what I was expecting. And this Delphi thing feels, it just feels like the good old, the good old boy system, rich white old men that have been running the same town, Alex Murdoch style for the last hundred years. And like, I don't know. Okay. So, it's, so the good news is perhaps they have connections. Well, I don't know. I mean, there are, I think I've not, I'm just guessing that there are connections the cult of Odin, the Odinites, so hard to take you guys seriously. Um, that is a, a different player in this game. They're not a huge part of it. The energy, though, that they bring to the table is super dark and super heavy. And so the good news is I don't think... There are two prison guards that are watching Richard Allen. Speaking of justice for Richard Allen, that's another one. I will talk about it later. You guys have heard I've had like six rants about him. Um, but he is getting targeted. This is in the or the court papers. You can read it for yourself. A, a person who is in prison with him was too afraid to testify in his defense. They break his ribs. They make him sleep and pee. It's disgusting. I'm telling you. And this is a, I'm telling you, this is a case study on not, on Nazi Germany, 1926 to 19, no, I would say 1923 to 1926. How there's actually an awesome book written by a Nazi, um, Officer, I've studied the world, World War II from the Russian point of view, the American point of view, and the German point of view, because it's really easy to be an ally and they're bad. So when I, by taking it in that perspective, it makes, first of all, ever, it makes a lot more sense. But there was an officer who wrote about his journey through losing his humanity and how things that he thought he would have been appalled at three years later, he was doing it or whatever it was. And this is a great case study. And all of us are just standing here, not saying anything, just looking the other way, 
and they are doing things that I just or I think are criminal. So that's fine. So that is where we are with Chase and Full Drawn Assassins is a cover or allegedly for entertainment purposes. There's only no facts here. Please do your own research. For a bigger organization, and the thing I think about the organization, it's very much like the Murdoch thing. I'm not getting like cartel feelings yet. I'm not getting that, but that doesn't mean that much. Right now it's just a cover. Okay, Abby, perhaps, um, I don't want to talk about that part, but the girls did not want to go to the bridge and they didn't go to the bridge. That is crucial. And the reason that's, cru well, is because we know why that's crucial. So why don't we look and see what happened? Oh, why don't we go into that timeline? What, what really happened? Because technically, we have at least four hours when suspect number one didn't drop them off anywhere, but reported them missing. This would be so easy to solve, like find her phone and see where she was. Um, but apparently, <laughs> actually the good old boys are back on this, so I'm not worried about them anymore. So the girls didn't want to go to the bridge and they didn't go to the bridge. So if Abby's parents who at this moment aren't criminals, then I'd like to, what I want to do is hear more from Abby's mom. What does Abby's mom think happened that day? Where did she think Abby was going? Did she think she was going to the mall? Or I don't care about suspect number one and her family at all. So you don't have to put it, I'm not going to look into it. I don't care. It's all bullshit to me. So Chase is a small player. The grandpa's not the emperor. He's not a leader, but he's, he plays a, a role in this. I think he was at, this is just my own interpretation. Wherever the girls wanted to go, Libby asked her dad or grandpa, whatever they call him, Mike, to take them. He couldn't take them. So suspect number one took them somewhere. So what we need to figure out is like, we'll go back into her day. The grandpa, oh, we need his birthday. If anyone knows when the grandpa's birthday is or the grandma, um, she's showing up as the queen of swords in reverse. That is a loose, loose cannon. I'll tell you that. Um, I got a, a tarot symbolism poster, Timo. I was actually hoping it'd be a little bit bigger, but... It's a cheat sheet for planets, colors. I don't know. I haven't really looked at it yet. <laughs> this is not the time to do it. So I'm gonna we're gonna go back into all right, that was another 13 minute introduction. Hello, welcome. Thanks for coming. Blue Jersey, you guys are good sports up there. I don't really like having this messy for you, lady and men, gentlemen and ladies. All right. I don't know. We're going to use regular ride or wait right now. It just feels right. I'm really bummed. I just got these new tarot cards. They're like, um, I thought they were the full, I just thought they were a replacement for these good old boys. They're mid midget ones, which is fine. I mean, I hope you guys can see them up there. I just like, I thought they were full size, but I only paid $3, so I should have known it was half size, half price. Um, we're going to go in, actually, hold on. I'm trying to figure out what deck I want to actually use. I don't know if, if someone in the balcony is learning and you it's your energy that's asking that likes the beginner cards i guess it doesn't really matter it's, i feel like someone likes them or something um all right let's just go into libby or abby i like calling them the girls i don't separate their energy doesn't come through separate it comes through as one 
So let's ask Libby. The morning that this happened, it was an unusually warm day. We know that because Kelsey's trying to say that actually suspect number one, I don't even respect her enough to use her name. She said that the girls were wearing her sweatshirts. Come on. Like, I am not even fat shaming. I don't mean this in any disrespect towards anyone who's heavier. These are 14 year old girls and they're tiny. There's no way that they were wearing her sweatshirt. I saw something that I, I don't want to go down that timeline yet. Let's look into Libby's morning. Try to figure out where they were trying to go, why they got in the car with her. Like, what did the grandpa think that they were, where were they going? And it's not this bridge. They didn't go to the bridge and they didn't want to go to the bridge. So, oh, the card that just jumped is the wheel. Mm -hmm. That's notoriously Ethan showed us that. Oh, another one is decision. Another jumper. I haven't even cut these. All right. So let's just tap into Lydia. It looks like she's ready to talk. Hmm. Tower. Have fake happy home. Oh. Fighting. King of Swords. Knight of Cups. The Sun. Ace of Swords. Oh, good. Thank God justice is here. Oh, the thief. There's D-Bag. Page. Queen of Wands. Okay. Fake happy home. Oh, El Diablo. Thanks for coming, everyone. You know, Famous Fortunes has an... He calls it... It's like the devil's swear jar. Every time El Diablo comes, he gives it change. And then he donates it to, like, a charity. Man, Dylan would have wiped us, oh, D-Bag would have wiped us right out last case. So I asked Libby to, mm. okay. Okay, welcome, welcome. If you're new and you're in the balcony, this is your first rodeo. I, hi, I'm Kate. Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. I hope this isn't too messy for you guys. I don't have a consistent number that I pull. I pull until it feels right to stop. So after I cut the cards, if you're a rookie, I don't, so I don't teach people like I always pull five. That's just not my style um, because your intuition is very strong and it tells you. Abby's was talking to us from the other side. So anyway, the point is I don't have a consistent amount. So you might see, how many is this? Nine, 11, 12. You might see 12. You might see 20. You might see 30. I don't know. But that's just something to keep in mind so you don't get confused. Um, there are no wrong ways to read tarot. There are no tarot police. If anyone tries to police you, thank them for... That's probably how moms feel. Well, I don't have a child, but I'm guessing. If I was trying to give a mom advice on child anything, it's like, thanks. You don't have a kid. I don't need your opinion um so just ignore them oh here's the world okay all right yep they did tie her up remember we talked about that okay so thanks for um that balcony so what we're looking at here is the good news is the feds are back on they're back on the game they must have done a sweep themselves because they're going back into Moscow and back into Delphi. We have justice at the top. This is the scales of justice. I'm going to look at that as justice because it's upright and as a decision, duality. She has the scales of justice. It's not always seen that way. I just got it in our last reading or two readings ago. And we have another decision right here. This card is the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, sorry. I haven't been showing. I'm talking to those guys. So we have justice upright. You guys know what justice looks like. We have the wheel. This is what Ethan always showed us as himself. We have the tower. This to me, you know, everyone has their own interpretation of it. I don't care how you read your tarot cards. I read this as an end. 9-11, game over. I saw a tarot reader one time. He, 
I, he was saying it was like winning the lottery the night before your, ta- your world comes tumbling down. That's the nicest thing I've ever heard about the tower. I just think 9-11 track. It's like done. It's over. So this is an end. This was a decision, but Ethan also showed it to us. It's the fool's journey. And this is then for the tower. A decision came before, I guess the wheel of fortune, you spin the wheel. That's enough. That could be three decisions right there. I wonder if that's symbolic of our threes again. Um, we have the, how many is this? Five of wands. Fives are chaos and tarot. They just are chaotic. And there's no real way around it. Just what it is. These guys are fighting. So it's in reverse. In reverse, this is like avoiding conflict. It's not fighting. She's, I asked the girls. So this is the girl's point of view. This isn't, the suspect number one, who's still suspect number one. She's not even close to being off that list. We have the King of Swords. I remember, I'm just going to check my list. Um, the, cre- the grandma was getting the Queen of Swords in reverse. I don't remember anyone getting a king, but then we have the Knight of Cups. That can be representative of our chase. Chase is this age of a knight, especially at the time. That was like nine, six, seven years ago. Oh, so then we have the sun, the sun shining on this trash hole, which is awesome. I'm going to put that up here with justice. We have the Ace of Swords. Aces are always new beginning. Oh, I wonder if there's someone involved with this case. That's like a, a surgeon or a doctor. We got this the last reading, too. It's like, um, I wonder, I bet you there's someone that's in the medical field, maybe a nurse or something. Somehow this is showing me surgery and showed up two readings in a row, but the last one was a marathon. Then we have this, and the, okay, this is a happy home. In the Cuffs family, in real life, anything but these two cases, Moscow and Delphi, it does mean happy home. In the Moscow case, it meant, oh, it was like a dis, any one of the decision makers always showed us this when, where'd the hermit go? Wait a second, okay. He, they always showed us this, it was kind of a mind fuck, because it was always a fake happy home, they always said it was real. This is D-bag, this is our thief card. I think suspect number one also got this in the very first reading. Uh, suspect number one is, her archetype is, well, it's right next to El Diablo. So, in the fool's journey, we don't have the fool, so never mind. I'm not gonna explain it. Um, El Diablo is an addiction, your shadow, it's your shadow. So it's anything you don't wanna deal with, work with. If you have an, or this energy has like, well, an addiction. Oh, so the next cards that we got, oh, fake. Happy party. There. Okay, so here's our hermit. I remember seeing him. We also got this card the last time when Libby was really stressed. She was explaining like she just needed to see her friends. The hermit is shining his light on that cup. I wonder if suspect number one was really, I bet you she was manipulative because the hermit is asking us to shine light on this discussion right next to El Diablo. There's something nefarious about this card. Well, what it represents, like I was taking it to mean the last time I got it, we got it. Um, She was excited to see Abby. This can also be like, um, remember in the first reading, we also got that suspect number one. She's just such a follower. She just does whatever. She's someone as a mom you'd probably be really worried about because anyone with a strong personality could just run her right over. Um, 
So that's something to keep in mind. Another five. Okay, so we have two fives here. Where's our other five? Okay, so we have two fives. Five of swords and five of wands. Communication electronically and avoiding a fight. There's something symbolic with that. Oh, the world. The world in reverse. This is an end. Done, done, done. Um, actually, the world and the Wheel of Fortune fell in reverse, and that means incomplete. That's like getting a nine. It's like you've done all the work. It's almost there. You just need closure. You just need to wrap it up. Good to know. This card is the Black Magic card. I'm not even going to call it. I mean, they might have tied the girls up. And our Queen of Pentacles. This is that money bags couple that are running this joint. So we have all the regular players. What we want to look into, there's something about those two fives. And there was a three. All right. That was just setting the scene for us. Oh, the heat's on. I'm starting to get bright red. I might have to pause you. I'm going to go turn the heat off again. I call it the compound because we all live really close to each other. Okay. Hi, Balcony. I am waiting to hear what time I need to be, or I'm hanging out tonight on duty. So I thought I would move this over here so you guys could watch me. I mean, and you can fast forward this if you don't care. But I want to update this so that we have that list here. So what we have is, I'm going to do Chase. He's a hottie. His birthday is April 23rd. He's a fire sign. Oh, if any of you guys are runes professionals or know more about it, um, this F, it means cattle, fire, wealth. It's like a strength symbol, but I think it was at both of these locations. Uh, fire sign. So if you guys know anything about it, let me know. Girls also never went to the bridge and didn't want to. Okay. 5.30, what time is it? Oh, all right. I have to get going. I have about 40 more minutes. They never went to... The bridge. That's key. That's clutch. All right, so they never went to the bridge. Chase is, sorry, if, um, he says Christian. I'm not even gonna write that down. Full John Assassins is a cover for moving people, product, whatever. It's a cover, that's all that matters. This judge, she's criminal, but she's not going to play a huge part in this. I think that was just to get her on our um, 
radar. Okay, so this is a judge, she sucks, I can't really read this. I'm going to erase, I mean Shane Evans, he's just a loser too, he's not going to play a big role, he's not that smart. Um, this no bridge is clutch, so what now? We have why did they lie about it? So they like why? Okay. Um, this is important. This is going to play a key role for us. The grandpa, all right, so Abby was maybe pregnant. I mean, who cares? I mean, I don't mean who cares, but what I mean is like, I'm just going to put pregs because we got the pregs card for her. Okay. Craig's, that's sad, but it's not that sad. I mean, no offense, but I don't know any 14 year olds that were, would be psyched to have kids. Grandpa, this is Mike Patty. He's not the emperor, but he reports to someone and he was involved that day. Okay, then we have this one right here. We need to figure out her birthday. Someone can just look it up for me. Um, she, Queen of Swords in reverse, sketch, sketch, sketch. She may be a decision maker. Okay, so, oh, this is Chase. Oh, Chase is right here. All right, so I think we got all the stuff that we needed. I have to do this reading really quickly because I am going to on. I call it the compound because we all live really close to each other. Um, I just have, I have about, what time is it? I have about 20 minutes and then I have to get going. Um, the balcony, I just wrote, I updated our whiteboard because what I want to focus on right now, I only have, like I said, I'm, I've got a time frame right now. I want to figure out, okay, maybe what I should do actually, there's a, a time timeline that's missing shocker um but what's missing is the girls didn't go to the bridge they never wanted to go to the bridge why and where did abby's parents think that they were that time like what did she think and i don't know if her parents are involved in her life at all i mean we can look it up but or check the cards i don't know i don't trust any of the i mean that's goes without saying. 
But what we need to figure out is this time frame. What were they doing? Like, who is the last person to have eyes on them? And I don't mean suspect number one. She doesn't even count. But some who is like credible that says, oh, maybe Abby's mom saw them. Maybe she dropped Abby off at Libby's house or something. Like somehow if we can start piecing together this timeline because then didn't they find them on the side of the road like a day later or something? So I'm going to write us the timeline. Like, um, I started at 7 a.m., run it through noon. This is how we did what I did with Ethan, and this is how we figured out that timeline. Then we have the 4 p.m. Oh, man. And if suspect number one says she dropped him off at noon, like, what if no one saw them for the night before, too? What if, like, Abby's parents thought that she was at Libby's? That means that we might have another 24-hour, 48-hour window that... All right. I'm going to tap into Libby. I'm going to use the Game of Thrones. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually going to use the Slavic ones. I love those ones. And... One of our cards jumped and fell on the floor. This is our worker V. That's what the cowboy got. Ooh, wait a second, wait a second. So the worker bee, this is what the hot cowboy got in well he's like unfortunately he's not a hot cowboy he just looked hot before i learned anything about him i wonder if he was there hmm. something to keep in mind Hmm. I wonder if we just made a, an important connection. Holy shit. The world. Mm. I'm going to write that down. Oh, I don't know who this kid really is. I think I figured it out, but... Okay. That would make a lot of sense. Ethan's here. Justice. 
upright. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that is our hero. That's like our American government. Oh, the King of Swords. This King of Swords keeps coming up. All right. Hold on. I haven't even really like started cutting these. Oh boy. Three of Swords. This was in reverse. This is what Ethan showed us. How beautiful are these cards? This is the three. Someone had a good comment. It could be Chase. Suspect number one and someone else. Threes are also about to start playing an important role. Justice and the world are at the top. The sun is in reverse. That's nighttime. That's telling us we're going back into the darkness. So feel free to send those angels prayers, whatever you believe in, preferably of the white light. Got enough of the other stuff here. Oh, death. Death is in reverse. It's like no change. Seven. The tower. Oh my gosh. What if I go back and I watch that cowboy video? Remember in there, I remember his world was getting really, really small. And that's like pretty much the same cards I just got. We have him. This is our hard worker. The only good thing I can say about him is he's a hard worker. He's loyal to a T. It's almost like um, people pleasing to detriment. He's also living above his means. This is from the last reading that I'm remembering all this. But his world is closing in. So we have justice and the world. That's an ending. That's the girls saying they're here. Justice is the higher, like a good old boys. Love the U.S. government. I'm going to look at those. I hope I was, I hope the balcony has those. Then I can see the exact cards that we got. I think what we just connected was the guy, I called him the hot cowboy from the Idaho case. And this is all allegedly entertainment purposes only. I haven't even looked into it. But I'm getting a very strong yes. That's the connection. He is also like the deacon, at, allegedly, at Christ Church. He's not that hot. Once I saw him, he's kind of a loser, obviously. But he jumped out and fell on the floor. And I think we might have just made a huge connection. Oh, here's the tower. The chariot. The star. They put their star out. Oh, the king of cups in reverse. Money, everything's drying up. We knew that. You know, that makes sense. Because I was getting the connection between the, oh, the fool. Between the, um, they're getting choked off just like Moscow. No way. Wow. Okay. I just got the chills. I'm going to say that this hot cowboy, he was at Moscow at 1122 King Queen Road. Three weeks later, he walks out with something in his hand. I thought he looked really smoking hot. I don't want to give take Drip Drop too much credit because I'm not like his, not giving credit where credit is due. In my experience, I just watched it happen and he did it to me. So there was a video though that he's connected to this cartel through Kaylee's uncle somehow. So if he's connected through that, and I don't know where they live, but I might have to go rewatch that drip drop video too, because it says, if what if it's right outside of Delphi, Indiana? Well, I think the connection we just made is our formerly known as Hot Cowboy is here. And I think he's stressed out. This is like the government, <laughs> US government's here. King of Cups, these were all in reverse. (laughs) 
I don't know why this makes me really, 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 really happy. He has a lot of Christian stuff. Oh, I don't have any cross on. Oh, did you guys know that that's a symbolic meaning for as above, so below? And then we took it literal and put someone on a cross. <laughs> anyway, this isn't a political debate. I just like to have my cross on, especially when I'm dealing with Christians murdering in the name of Christ. Was really awesome. All right, so I'm going to go back to my regular rider right of weights. If anyone has an extra deck, oh, we don't live near each other, of rider weights that's regular size, I'll send you these little mini ones. I, um, <laughs> let's go back in. I'm going to pause you one more time. I just want to put my cross on because I think we're going where angels fear to tread. Sorry, balcony, BRB. Hi, Belkini. All right, I just have to go put on my cross. <laughs> I know I might razz the Christians a little bit, but I did grow up Christian. And we're <laughs> okay. So what do we want to know? What should I... We're going, we're going to go back into this hot cowboy. So if you were involved in criminal organization, like, why would you, I mean, obviously when they're killing like six year old women, it doesn't really make the headlines. It doesn't, I mean, we found three. Remember that was the day I said that I don't work for the FBI, but if I did, so why are they killing kids in these really obnoxiously grandiose fashions? Like, it's not just like, well, a Cleveland thing. Thank God they caught that thing. But like, why would you ever want to bring attention to it? Like, what is, well, I think what happened with the Ethan thing was they, especially in the recording that Luna got cleaned up. He talks about the money. He They flushed some rugs and they owed a lot of money. We knew that. But so, you th and I think that D-Bag is just complete psychopath. There's so much rage, no feelings. I think that was all just like rage. She's just psycho. I mean, there was probably hurt feelings. Very root chakra things, but these little girls, I almost feel like in Drip Drop's video, that might be Luna's. Hi, Drip Drop. It's not cool, dude. I'll give Luna the credit because I just don't trust anything now. He, Luna said that this is like, a, it could be a revenge killing on Kaylee. So what were the, like, what, was Abby just, like, collateral? Was she just happened to be there because someone needed to get back at this trash family? Let's ask if Abby was... Okay, let's actually, let's just do a yes, no on this hot cowboy. Is it him? Upper yes, reversals, no, I'm not going to read it. So if anything jumps. No, yes, 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 yes. Hard yes. We have our dead little boy and the queen of swords. There's the grandma and D-bag. Happy home. All right, I'll give him one more, you know, do two out of three. I'm going to say he's definitely the same guy. <laughs> hey, feds, you guys looking for an agent? Oh, my gosh. You guys, this is not a joke. This is him. This is our cowboy. This is him. It's him. It's him. Okay. It's the same. Confirmed 100%. I stand by it. That's the hot cowboy. 
this is his card. This is hard worker. He's like only happy at work. He's a master of his trade. He might do something with his hands. He might be in construction. He's a good worker. That's the only thing that brings him happiness. This is him. It's him. Welcome back to the party, hi cowboy. Whew, it's been a while. Wow. The hot cowboy. Oh. <laughs> Just so awesome. I want to like stop this and upload it. Well, I have to get going anyway. <laughs> So who I think it is, is the deacon at Christ Church. Of course, Christ. I do have my cross on though, because I mean, it's very real. No way. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop you guys. I'm going to make myself a list. I'm going to go hang out with my parents and give them dinner. All right, no, I'm not giving them. She's giving me dinner. I'm going to watch. I'm going to look on Luna. I will post her name um, because drip drop, come on, dude. That is not cool. And I didn't even throw you under the bus. She went hard. I just said I was annoyed. And I didn't even imply you, but now I'm annoyed with you too, because it's annoying and it's disrespectful. So I'll go check Luna's page, figure out the video with the hot cowboys literally just walking right in. I saw a comment that was like, these are some special forces guys. No, they're not. I'll, I mean, I don't, like I said, I'm a girl with a tarot deck and these are all opinions, but those were not any kind of law enforcement. I mean, perhaps they're the law enforcement that well they're all corrupt so not all of them i take that back my husband was gone so the hot cowboy is tied to both of these cases he was at both of these locations i don't know why when where but he's tied to both of them <sighs> what a dummy what a dumbass <laughs> okay so this hot cowboy night he's back on the radar then i'm gonna look at luna I will find her name, Luna Noir, and oh, it's L-U-N-A-N-O-I-R. So it's like Black Luna. She is the one that drip drop stole all of her information. So I'm going to go to her page, and I'm going to find the video of them, these cowboys coming out of the house. I'll rewatch and repost the um, video that I did of the hot cowboy. I'll try to narrow it down. So it's Luna Noir. I want to look at the cards we got because I remember it was closing in and I kept seeing this is really weird. I'm getting the same energy. <laughs> oh, it sucks to suck. Gosh, I am so happy right now. Then, okay, so my action item is, okay, so in conclusion, I'm going to write the action items and do our conclusion. Balcony, thanks for hanging out and watching me update our whiteboard. In conclusion, the hot cowboy was at, he's involved in both of these cases. <laughs> his world is getting small. Oh, that's why we kept getting, his world was closing in. Tough day to be a criminal. All right, so the hot cowboy, I think who it is, is, um, and this is all allegedly, mm, no facts here, please do your own research. The deacon, I don't even remember his name, but the deacon at the Christ, of course, Christ Church. Christ Church. His name is Gabriel. And this is just my... I just thought he walked and has the same body as the kid that Luna put in her video. I'm not going to look at droop drops. I'm hoping that Luna has it because it was probably originally hers and see if I can clip some of it in there. Then um, I'm going to rewatch those videos. We just got all the same cards. 
um, video of him walking out of 1122. No wonder Ethan's here. And we did get his world is closing in. This is a great ending. Well, it's not an end. I'm going to go clean this up, hang out with my family, babysit, be an auntie. And I'm going to post this so you'll see this before I keep working. But I just want to thank you all for coming. Thank you, Balcony. In conclusion, the connection between these two cases is our hot cowboy. Ah, uh, he's not a hot cowboy, but I like the fantasy of hot cowboys. <laughs> um, the hot cowboy's world is getting small. I think he's the deacon at Christ Church. His name's Gabriel. I already did a reading or two on him before I figured out who he was. And uh, Luna, I will post or I'll tag you below. Thank you for everything. And I am off to hang out with my family. So I will love you and leave you. Thank you all for coming. That was the best 30 minutes of my day. So I love you and I'll see you guys. Hello, hello, my friends. This is going to be a warning. Um, I just did a reading on the Abby and Libby stuff and it was disturbing. So I just wanted to make a quick warning. I don't have any answers for it, but it was really bothered. It bothered me. Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome. If you're new here, welcome. If you are coming back, welcome back. Bleachers, you guys should be all set. You are on and ready to go. So when thank you all so much for the likes, subscribes, the memberships. We're doing our first live tonight at uh I thought it said seven and then I just saw a comment asking if it was at eight. So check, please check the community tab. And if you're on the West Coast, it's three hours behind. If you're in Europe, seven hours. So we'll make it work. And I just wanted to thank everyone. Today, I found some more of the timeline. So. I'm going to kind of just let spirit, God, the universe guide us today. I found a timeline that um, Abby's mom said that they were supposed to be dropped off at 115 at the sketchy bridge, which we know isn't true about the bridge part. But then they were supposed to be picked up at 315 by Abby's dad. The search started at four and on Reddit, there were some rumors that her family might have owned this land or something. So I'm not really sure. We made the connection with the hot cowboy last week. We, or last time I saw you guys, it wasn't a week ago, but, um, so we could we could go into just talk to Abby's mom and see what's going on with her if she oh boy this card just jumped this is an overkill card and I didn't even ask a question yet Oh, so the question I was thinking about asking was if Abby's mom was involved. All right. So the cards that just jumped. Oh, man. Oh, good. Well, the good news is 
The cards that jumped are, oh, hi, welcome to the balcony. If you are new here, I don't have a set number of cards that I read all the time. I just read whatever feels right. So if you're a stickler for numbers or you were taught a different way, that's just not how I read. So I just wanted to give you the heads up so it didn't get confusing. I will explain these in a second. I just want to Okay, the underlying energy is the five of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. All right, so the cards that jumped are our fat, happy man. He works hard for his cups. He's happy. Um, cups are your emotions. This is a nine. So he's almost completed his whatever it was. This isn't complete, but this is almost done. Here's the chariot. Chariot's the actual vehicle. It can be. Back in the day, it was a wagon or whatever, they, a chariot. Um, it can be plane, train, automobile. It can. It's an action card. So whatever we're discussing, in my personal opinion, it's an action card. We have the moon in reverse. This is a good card to get in reverse because that means secrets are coming out and the sun is shining. So we have secrets coming out, the sun is shining. We have the five of pentacles in reverse as our underlying energy. This is like an emotional rock bottom. Fives generally are chaotic, it's change. Um, well, you never want your pentacles to be in reverse. Pentacles in reverse means you're losing your pentacles. Oh, we have the page of swords. This, uh, I was seeing, um, pages are your messengers, swords are words, so it could be electronic. In reverse, this page isn't going anywhere, and he is not, it's like a lack of commitment, we have our Ace of Swords upright. Mm. This is a contract. So right now, she's not suspect number one, but she's getting, we have Strength, the King of Cups, and the Lovers in Reverse. I'm not really sure what this is telling us. What it's telling me is that this woman has secrets that are going to come out. She's hit an emotional rock bottom. There are contracts right next to the King of Cups, so she signed a contract. We don't have anyone for our King of Cups, right? We have Strength and the Lovers in Reverse. So let's dig into this a little bit more. There's seems to be a little bit more to this than meets the eye. I don't know what it is yet. Let's ask Abby directly. What do we need to know about her mom? That's what the question we'll ask.
Okay. Um, the underlying energy is the Empress in reverse. The Knight of Wands jumped. That's Chase. I don't know. This is a three-person pact. The Emperor's here. Queen of Cups. Seven of Wands. She got the same, oh my gosh, four cards right in a row. Okay. All right. I don't know what this is saying. Well, what it's saying is her hands are not clean. So I think her name is Anna. Yep, Abby's mom's name is Anna. Her hands are not clean. That's all I'll say right now. Um, we have the emperor here. The emperor notoriously, here just a second. Let me just write this down. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I mean, this is not good for this mom. Her hands are not clean. <sighs> All right. Darn, I was really hoping that... So, in this article that I read, it was from Daily Mail. They were the only ones that I could find that had anything to do with uh, Abby's parents. And, all right, it said that she was at work that day. And her boyfriend or something went to pick the girls up, or the dad... Let's just ask if she knew what was going to happen to the girls before they left that day. That means now our timeline. So we don't have anyone. And if someone finds something different, please let me know. Right now, I don't have anything to work from. We don't have a like did. I guess what we should do is go back to the last day that they were at school and a teacher confirmed that they were there. Like they weren't absent from school. So if this happened, oh, I can't Google it. I'm guessing, I have no idea what day of the week this was. But I'm guessing it had to be a weekend. So if it was a Saturday, then right now, our timeline just jumped to when they left school that last day that they were there. So it could be on a Friday. Oh, uh, that just made our timeline like, uh, she it technically could be 24 hours right now of on, like of missing time. I might pause you guys just to check and see what day of the week this was and if they were confirmed at school. So at least we know that we're working within a 24 hour timeline, not 48. I'm gonna pause you guys really quickly and just check this, just a second. It could have been Oh no. Oh no. That 
means that these guys could have been missing. Oh man. Let's see what, okay, so that was a Monday. Okay. So technically, oh no. <sighs> I'm not buying any of this. I think, so we're Abby and Libby at school on the 11th, wait, that would be the 10th, seen at school on February 10th, oops, 20, Okay. Delphi Community Middle School. We're going to Reddit. Okay, so no one's thought of this. It looks like no one's asked these questions yet, which is funny. Um, Abby, Libby, school, last day of school. So, okay, so somebody's name is Derek, but what they are not saying is what happened that morning. Okay, so this is where we, okay, we're getting a timeline-ish. We don't buy it, but. Okay, this is saying that they were at Libby's. So I'm gonna start this up here. This is probably too messy for you guys to see. All right. So. I'm going to start it at 9, 10, 11, let's say at 9, they ask Libby's grandma, to go to the bridge. Libby's grandma's name is... Um, 
we might get something. Uh oh. Becky. Okay. Ask Libby's grandma, Becky. Since this is February 17. Oh, wait. Sorry. February 13th. Why do I keep getting it confused? They asked the grandma to go to the bridge. Okay, so now this article, and this is five years old. No, it's on Reddit. It's saying this is a popular hotspot. The Monin Bridge is a popular hotspot for teens in the area. Okay, I'm gonna screenshot this because I feel like um, the girls were granted permission under the condition that they secured a ride there and back. Libby's older sister, Kelsey, would drop them off and then head to work. Libby's father, Derek. Okay, so to get there, Okay, so this girl, okay, so 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 1.45. This is when Kelsey allegedly drops him off. Okay, and then she was going to work. She worked. Okay. Libby's father, Derek, would pick them up after he finished running errands for his mother. Uh, suspicious. This is automatically, like, weird. What's going on here? So Derek, now we need more information on him. Derek would pick up girls after he ran some errands. Okay. For Becky. Um, there was no set time for the girls to return to their meeting point. And Derek would call them when he got there, which wouldn't be any more than two hours. At approximately 1.45, Abby and Libby were dropped off by Kelsey at the abandoned bridge in Delphi, where the girls would take a hike. Laughing and talking and uploading pictures. Okay, I don't buy any of this. At 3 o'clock, 3.11 allegedly, okay? So we do have apparently some phone records because this is a very specific time. Derek text Libby. I don't buy this. Okay, so at 3.30, he calls Becky. So Mike doesn't find out, this is saying, at four o'clock, Mike finds out. Uh, he calls Becky. Becky calls the, it says, now the father, grandma, and grandma's daughter. Grandma and Grandma's daughter. Wait, is there some incest going on here? Because this is also saying that Derek is the son of Becky. Okay. Libby's father, Derek. Okay. 
So Libby's dad's name is Derek. Okay. So, and then it says, would finish running errands for his mother, Libby's grandma. All right, so allegedly we have Becky is the grandma. We allegedly have Derek is her son. And Derek is also Libby's dad. Oh, that's the son and Libby's dad is Derek. Okay. For his mother, yeah. Okay, so Becky is the mom and grandma. Okay. So. So. Libby's older sister, Kelsey. So Derek is technically Kelsey's. Okay. At approximately 1.45, Abby and Libby were dropped off. At 3.11, Derek texted Libby. Okay. So Libby's grandma, yep, we've got that. Dad, okay. Now, the father, that's Derek, so that's Libby's dad. Grandma, that's Becky, and her grandma's daughter. Who the fuck is this? Who's the grandma's daughter? Okay. So Becky's husband is Mike. We know that. So Daniel Nations looks like someone to look into. Hmm.
Okay, so her stepdad. In the sub, they said that this was the stepdad. Who's the grandma's daughter? Hmm. Oh, okay, well, that was a rabbit hole. So, okay, so I just this was a Monday, which means technically no one has eyes on these girls. There's nothing about school that Friday. There's mysteriously, and I just heard this in the Atkins, is it the, the Dr. Atkins trial? Um, he's the dentist and he was just convicted and, his girlfriend, it's like a family plot down in Florida. In there, the prosecutor says, you have specifically weird details. Basically, she's saying less is more. Well, what we just got was specifically weird details. I just looked on Reddit and I screenshot it so that we can look at it. This might be a, oh, we could do it tonight for our live. I found so there's weirdly specific things like at 311 Derek who is Becky's son and Libby's dad dropped him off oh, I'm sorry I was supposed to pick them up at 311 Kelsey dropped him off at 145 and it says that the grandma the father and the grandma's daughter we're all looking for these girls before they called Mike. So who's the grandma's daughter? And why doesn't, why isn't she on our list yet? I don't know, this might be a live thing to do tonight with the team because all I'm getting right now is that this mom's hands are not clean. And then I just went down a rabbit hole and I'm not, I don't want to learn, you know what, maybe what we should do. Okay, I need to pray. I'm going to ask for guidance. What are they trying to show us? I don't understand. Hmm. Front row just jumped out. I'm just calling in help. I'm asking Ethan and Abby and Libby what we're supposed to be seeing. In Frat Row and the King of Wands just jumped. Well, Frat Row's in reverse. We have the Page of Swords. I haven't even cut these.
<laughs> oh boy. The Hermit's the underlying energy. So he's shining light on it for us. This is the Black Magic card. It's also no free will. Nine of Pentacles, BJ Queen. These are all in reverse. Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is a nightmare. Oh, wait a minute. Judgment's here and the Hermit. Guys, there was a struggle. I've seen this Seven of Wands twice. It was in, was it in reverse? No, it was upright. This is an action card. But the fact that we got this and our girl. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I think our timeline just grew exponentially. I think we're at, at least a 72 hour timeline. Everyone that's standing up right here, or, you know, a person card, they're all looking towards the future. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, towards the past. I hope this is looking. Oh, so when he falls, I don't know, this is just, he's looking that way. The hermit's looking that way. This page of swords is looking this way towards the past. She's almost even kind of looking towards the past. He's looking forward. Queen of Queen of Cups, and this is the only other queen, and she's looking straight. Well, she's looking towards the future. Is there incest going on here? And I mean that very much as. And the reason I'm asking is because who's the grandma's daughter? That's not Libby's sister. This is pretty much saying like, is not good. I'm just going to say it. I think these girls were tortured. That's what I keep getting is like torture. Which, from everything that I've read, this is public. Oh, hi, oh, everyone. There are no facts here. This is just some chick with a deck of cards in her opinion. One of the things that I've read, though, is that the adrenaline that children make when they're scared is, like, something that people like. This is really weird, but what I'm almost getting is like, um, uh, what is that movie? Mockingjay? What is that series? I've heard that this happens. This is all allegedly, in my opinion, please do your own research that they do like live hunts on prominent people's farm or land in Texas, I've heard this. That's what this is feeling like. I wonder if that's why I was getting that ambush feeling. This is almost like that um, Mockingbird, or it's called Mockingjay. That's number two of the book series. 
everyone knows it. It was like a top seller. Like, I don't even know. Like, for some reason, D bags, energy, at least rage was something I could like touch or understand. This is like different. And it is very, very, it's like to kill. Oh, wait. Oh. What is that movie? It's like very dark. It's an understatement. It's all. I'm going to try these cards. These are called the Witch's Tarot. They're tiny. And I have a little cheat sheet on here because they're not the same. It's like the Hierophant is the High Priest. The Wheel of Fortune is the Wheel of the Year. And Judgment is Karma. I can see the title. It's a trilogy. There's three books in the series. I was... And I saw something that Abby's family owned some of the land that they might have been found on or something. So we had a jumper. I haven't looked at it yet. The lovers. The hanged man. Five of swords. It was karma. I'm gonna look at this. All right, this empress is playing an important role. She's back. Karma. Oh, thank God. Okay, we got justice. Justice is upright. Okay, so we have some hope. We have the page of wands. That page keeps coming up too. The chariot, the emperor, wheel of the year. That's spinning wheel. Oh, we have a broken heart. Wait a second. We have the wheel of the year and the world. These are endings. The high priest. Is that that? I just have to check my cheat sheet. It's just written on the inside of this. The hierophant is the high priest. Okay, we have that. Wheel of the year is the Wheel of Fortune, and Judgment is Karma. I don't know, you guys. I I mean, even these cards are telling me that these girls were tortured. And it wasn't like in this really weird sexual gratification way. It was to create this like hormone. What's wrong with humanity? I'm 
I'm gonna do like a karmic cleanse card or something. I don't know, these are really sick people. I'm just going to ask this fortune teller if they were tortured, like the way that I'm seeing it. Science point to yes. I know Abby or Ashley reads these upside down, and I love her very much and I respect her. I just don't read them upside down. Okay, so now that was a really dark place to go, and I don't have any answers. So, what I need to do, all right. In conclusion for that, the girls were tortured. And it's almost like a game. It's like the human prey when they like chase them. It's really a weird thing that I'm seeing. Like what I keep getting is like Mockingjay is one of the books. It's a book, it's a major film. The girl's adorable. She has blonde hair. And it's like. And right now, they might have had 72 hours of it because this was a Monday. The girls had school off. I guess it could have been spring break or fall break. Or whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what to... <clears throat> I'm like... This is like um, very troubling. I don't know what it, it would be like human prey. That's what it feels like. It's like they were hunted, like human prey. So, who benefits from that other than these weird sickos? And why are they showing it to me? That's what I want to ask is like, why are you showing this to me? I think what we're trying, they're trying to do is establish, uh, like they, it wasn't just these two hours. I have the Game of Thrones deck here. I'm just gonna check and make sure that the balconies are recording. Okay, few. <laughs> All right, let's just call Ethan in. Ethan, I need some help, buddy. Why are you showing me that? You guys. I think this is going to have to be live. What is this? What is organ harvesting? Has anyone actually seen these autopsies? And I'd have no interest in seeing them, but if anyone does or knows about this, can you check and make sure all their organs were there? We're gonna have to end this with like 
something really helpful. Okay, first, Ethan, why are you why are you guys showing us this? The chariot. Uh, so in the regular rider rider weight, the chariot is a stationary vehicle. It's like a stationary car. In the Game of Thrones, it's moving. And I did bring up I-80 the other day. It doesn't go to Bozeman. It's actually I-70 and I-80, not 90. I said 90. 90 must go down to Florida. But the point is, I don't know where it goes. But what it is, is like, I am, oh, remember how I was getting that surgeon? Oh. Like, in the first couple readings of this, I kept feeling like there was a surgeon involved. What was that? That must have been the Ace of Swords. Hmm. Okay, well, this just took a super dark turn. And I, let's do like an angel card or reading for the girls or something because that's tying back our, and I know this is a horrible spot to end it, but I really don't know where to go from here. And I'm really hoping I'm wrong. It's just all allegedly some chick's opinions. Um, but I kept getting, I think it must have been the Ace of Swords. And I kept saying, well, one time, there's a surgeon or someone in the medical field. All right, let's do... Let's do a message to the collective from the girls. Okay, that's what we'll do. That's how we'll end this because that was super dark and I don't know what I was expecting. I know I always say that, but... And we'll do one from Ethan wants one too. So that's cool. Okay, so we are going to do a collective. I might do a pick pile actually because I have to get this energy off me. All right, so we're gonna do, and then I'll, I'll do a pick pile. Let's do an angel card from the girls. Summer, taking action, fruition, and intellect. Mm. 
This card is calling you to take action. Use your intellect to determine the actions that need to be applied. You will encounter the varied variations of light and darkness, the familiar and the unexpected. Don't be afraid. This experience will open you to new personal growth. Summer is also symbolic of the stage at which your goals or desires bear fruit. Expect that your projects, relationships, and aspirations are coming to fruition now. Archangel Uriel and, Uriel and Ariel are associated with this symbol. It's a high energetic time for you. Therefore, you need to stay grounded. Spending time outdoors will help you. Your mind is quite active. Your clear cognizance is powerful. Hone in this ability. Focus your maiden warrior aspect by wielding power and channeling self-confidence into a positive force. Socializing opens you up to growth. Get out there and meet new people. Okay, that was a nice message to the collective. That's from the girls, and Ethan wants to give one. Oh, I don't have the guidebook to this, but... Hopefully it shows me what, these are the Kuan Yin ones. I absolutely love Kuan Yin. All right, so this is a collective for a reading from Ethan to the collective. Sound the fierce flute. Discernment empowers you to make choices that are aligned with your intentions. Like a fierce sounding flute, Cutting through all vibrations with purity and intent, your discernment allows you to stay true to your values without getting caught up in distraction. To grow spiritually through love, joy, peace, and abundance, make high vibrational choices that feel good to you. Oh, I love that. I love him. Okay, well, now I think I might have to leave you guys with that. And I'm sorry, that was a really negative way to end it, but I don't really know where to go from here. So I am going to stop this and here I can organize these later. Thank you so much for coming. Balcony, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you. I am going to upload this. I might do something but to back it up or wait until tonight when we're all together. And we'll go from there. So thank you all so much for coming. That I almost said that was fun, but that was very troubling. And I love you all. Thank you for coming. I'll love you and leave you, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.